ahoy there. Good morning. Very much good morning. It's so early. I hope you're all doing well out there. And ready for some more Monza action. I didn't mean it to be two Monza races in such quick succession, but this is this is the way it worked out. And this one will be quite a bit different than the last one. So uh, I'm excited for it. I hope you're excited as well. Welcome to the thousand kilometer race at Monza. This is uh, this is a full full distance recreation of the classic sports car races at uh, at Monza. Th a thousand kilometers over the 10k course, so that is a 100 lap race. Uh, it's 11:50 p.m. for you, Racer Evie. Well, it is just getting on 8 a.m. I did wake up at 6 a.m. today <laughs> to get uh, uh to get. Uh, ready for this yes and thankfully it's not 445 on the west it is it is the east coast for me but yeah 100 laps today at uh, Monza the 10k version and we also have uh, what you're seeing in just a minute the chicanes which man are they uh, are they interesting it's really gonna be a pretty tricky one uh, luckily for the first time ever I am not doing a race entirely by myself I've got a teammate for this one one Ascari Canton, and I'll see if I can actually reach him here. Ascari will be joining us on the uh, on the voice here and there. Ascari, can you hear me now? He might he might have jumped away for a minute. We'll see if he comes back. But yeah, we'll be uh, we'll be trading driver swapping throughout this one, so it uh, it won't just be me. Uh, but that adds a whole other element of things, uh, not only to to myself racing i want to make sure we do a good job and don't uh have a crash or something like that but um also i feel responsible for <laughs> for making sure he has a good race too so yeah it'll be it'll be pretty interesting as we go um but yeah we're here so it's this is kind of a, a random group of of drivers that are assembled for this one it's um not an invitational exactly. There were some open signups for it, but there's quite a few folks that were invited to take part. Some different teams. I really don't know all of the teams super well, but we are the North Atlantic Racing Team. And uh, maybe I can show you our car here. Here's Ascari flying around in it. Maybe we're on a rewind there. See if I can actually like show you the car at all. Yeah, this uh, this will kind of work. Oh man, it's super wonky. This is our car. <laughs> if I can, oh, the the, the controls are all reversed. Um, Ascari painted this up for us. It's got a Finnish flag and American flag on it. It's a 330p4. I saw a comment already in the stream about these cars. Yes, this is kind of a fictionalized set of cars. Um, this R Factor 2 mod, like the 50s one that we raced a whole bunch. Uh, they're, the physics are real, the visuals are not 100% real. Uh, but Ascari decided he wanted to team up with me on this. I uh, I don't know why. He's so much faster than I am. And so he'll definitely be carrying us a little bit today. But um, yeah, let's see how it goes. Ascari, are you able to hear me? Oh wait, I can't hear you. Give me a second. Ah, uh, I know what I did. I can hear you now. Yeah. Say hello to everybody. Hello to everybody. <laughs> so we'll be we'll be uh, trading off. So I think we've decided that I'm going to start the race, and uh, that means I have to do the qualifying as well. So that'll mean at the start of the race, I'm going to have to end up driving for like two hours to do the uh, yeah. qualifying and then the start. But then then we'll hand it over to you for a middle stint. Hand it back to me for a stint, and then you'll do the finish if uh, everything yeah. works out. Sounds good. Yeah, so it's going to be good. I um, You've already been called the uh, Finnish Ascari. So, yes. <laughs> yeah. I'm honored. <laughs> he is the As Ascari that uh, we raced the Targa Florio and raced Yerne Simoncic and had the great finish with. Uh, so I'm pretty lucky to be teamed up with you. Oh, thanks. Uh, it's great to be here. All right, so we've got like getting as fast now as well. Oh boy. 
Yeah, I'm not surprised. Not surprised. So we've got about 10 minutes left in the practice session, and then we're going to jump into qualifying, I believe, uh, which is an hour. Hopefully I won't have to drive for the entire hour. Um, but drive for an hour, just try to get a good starting spot. And uh, and then and then we'll go into the race. I think there's a driver's briefing in there somewhere too. Is it, Ascari, is the driver's briefing uh, after the qualifying? Good question. <laughs> I'll look at the thing. <laughs> yes, it is. So it's at 1500 CET. Yeah, so uh, right before the race, yeah. Driver's briefing. And, uh, yeah, and then, and then the race will start 100 laps. It's kind of cool to do an endurance race that's lap-based because you don't have to... Uh, you want the car back? Uh, sure, I'll take it for a lap. Uh, if I get anything, I want a piece. I just jumped on with you. Yeah. Uh, do you want less fuel for quality practice? Uh, I can't remove Yeah, no, it's fine. I'll take whatever there is. I'll jump in the car here for a minute then. Good morning, Lewis Wombat. Thanks for GP falling in love with sim racing. Oh, I'm glad you've fallen in love with it. There's a lot to love, I think. A lot to love in, in sim racing. Yeah, we're tr practicing there a driver swap right now. So the way the driver swaps work is that the driver pitting has to select you. You have to be riding with them. They have to select you, and then once the pit stop is complete, you take you take control of the car. Um, so, like immediately once this counter runs out, which you can't quite see underneath my feet here, uh, then I immediately take the car and, and away we go. So you have the car for the next two and a half hours. Wonderful. <laughs> take good care of it. I will try. I won't over rev it like that, I promise. <laughs> There's a lot to keep track of with this like multi driver thing, and so that's another big part of this. And hopefully hopefully everything goes well today. I'll but... go grab a cup of coffee while you Sounds good. All right, so we're coming down the back stretch, and uh, you already saw the first chicane, but these are the chicanes they installed in the late 60s at Monza, which they're nuts. They're absolutely nuts. And I just I foresee some major accidents <laughs> at some point today from folks running into these things or running into each other trying to get into them. Yeah, I'm just fixing the volume there. Sorry about that. Jonathan D in front. I think he's in one of the Porsches. We've got a track limits warning for that. But the rest of the track is the same as the one I raced at the 50s cars a, a few weeks back. Um, it's the classic Monza circuit fast corners. These cars have so much more grip, though. So we go a lot faster than we did with the 50s cars. <laughs> I don't have any any chat commands. Uh, it's an Audio-Technica headset. I, I don't know the model off the top of my head. I'll have to look it up. Yeah, they ran on the banking into, I think, 1970 was the last year. I'm sure somebody in the chat will correct me. It's about then, though. They ran the chicanes for the last few years before they abandoned the banking altogether. Yeah, so today is going to be all about just trying to be consistent and smooth. Uh, we have to worry about a few things with the car. 
to, to take care of the engine, basically. So over revving is the big thing. Uh, 8200 RPM is, is really the max that I want at any point during the race. And we've decided to take a less aggressive uh, radiator option so that we don't really have to worry about overheating because that was a major concern in some of the practicing. But yeah, this first chicane especially is so tricky. At some point, one of us will probably blow the chicane and you have to come to a complete stop and then uh, you can get going again. So you lose time, definitely. Got you, 69, okay. I knew it was about then. 1969, that was the last year they ran this layout. But I mean, even then, it's, it's pretty wild how fast these cars were, how fast we get up to speed-wise over the banking, just in the short runs that we do get. But uh, it definitely adds another level of trickery to Monza. It's not a uh, not an easy course in this layout, let me tell you. All right, we got three minutes to go. I'm gonna come into the pits next lap. Why did they abandon the banking? Well, I, I think it's a danger thing. It's, it's pretty, even even at the lower speeds of the chicanes, I think it's a pretty dangerous thing. Yeah, I did do, that's right, Tim. So I did do a, an offline race around this version of the circuit uh, in my 1966 series. Uh, and yeah, I definitely did get hit from behind. Uh, I'm hoping, hoping that doesn't happen today. Classic car series on LFM? I don't know. I don't know much about LFM yet. I'm not I'm not trying to host too many things myself. It's so much so much effort to do that, but hopefully can do something here in the coming years. Brakes are both bad and easy to lock up, so <laughs> they're not uh, it is quite quite tricky to uh, It's quite tricky to, to run a whole race. The brakes end up getting quite hot, too. And, uh, yeah, it's keeping track of the car is going to be one thing. We're, we're trying to double stint tires because you save a ton of time in the pits if you do. Oh, boy. This Isidoro. It's great to see so many of the same folks that did our HRRC League and did, do the HSO stuff. It's a lot of the same people here. Sure, it is possible to fly off the banking, but we're gonna we're gonna try to avoid that at all cost. All right, I'm coming in the pits. We got the pink, pink Porsche. Everybody loves the pig. All right, just coming in the pit stall, nice and easy. All right, we'll exit out of the car. So loud outside the car. <laughs> All right, so we're just about at the end of the session. One minute left, and we're going to jump into qualifying and everything. Appreciate everybody joining me today. It's uh, it should be fun. I'm I'm really looking forward to this. It's something different than I've never done before. It makes me a little little anxious just to have so many new things happening, but um, I'm excited to be paired up with Ascari, and uh, I really, my main goal is to get the car to him in a reasonable position. <laughs> and, and most importantly, in one piece, so that he can do his magic, because he's been so fast in some of the practice that um, I think if we're even within a, sh in a shout of it, he'll be able to really elevate us. And, uh, but there's a lot to do. Uh, I'm doing the qualifying because I want to start the race so that whoever qualifies has to start. And uh, we'll see how fast I can get. So in our practice, I think Ascari did the 254.4 here. Um, I've done laps close to that. If I can get into the 250s, I'll be pretty happy with our qualifying time. Um, keep in mind, this is a multi-class race, so we've got a Chaparral up front. I think they're going to be the quickest, but they are going to burn so much more fuel. Um, so much more fuel, they're going to, going to uh, have a slow time through the corners. I think they're going to have to pit more than us, so it'll be interesting how it all works out. All 
All right, but the session should be turning over for qualifying here. So we've got an app. It's still a little while to the race. If you're just tuning in, we've got about probably an hour and a half until the race starts. We've got to do an hour qualifying session here. And then, um, and then we'll have, uh, a driver's briefing for like 15 20 minutes and then we'll actually start the race so keep that in mind everything is frozen there we go all right so we're jumping in to start qualifying and i'm just going to go out and do like as many laps as i can that tends to be how it works out best for me i don't see anybody else yet but Take advantage. Take advantage of it. Try to get out of here before everybody else. All right, we got 59 minutes to do qualifying. Remember to take the qualifying setup at some point. You're right. <laughs> This is why I need you. <laughs> so difficult because the stream is like 40 seconds behind. Yeah, you probably have to. Are you still in the session? Oh, yeah, yeah, I am, yeah. Probably be better for you to just watch on board with me. Yeah, I, well, I won't know what setup you're having. <laughs> I haven't run it with Radiator 2, so we'll see how, how many laps do we get. One and a half. So I got a first lap out, it has to be my good one, yeah? Yeah. Alright, we'll try so it once. Can... I, might, I might jump back up to three if I yeah, uh, just makes get sense. a feel for it. So the magic number is 107 degrees on the oil for folks for folks watching along. And yeah, every car should have a custom livery. All the teams have kind of built their own uh, or painted their own cars so that you know most of them look fairly period correct. But there's a couple that are a little little more modern looking, but um, yeah, it makes it pretty interesting that everybody's got their own own liveries and stuff. All right, come around and I'm going to start a lap here right at the line. So we'll see what I can put together just on a, a single flyer. We've got the radiator set super, super closed, so it's going to uh, overheat quite quickly. But Ferrari have told us that we have a limited qualifying engine, so I think we're good to go. Front's in the wall. start smoking here in a second <laughs> the chicanes are disgusting oh, I was way too slow into the parabolica
112 right now going down the back stretch. <laughs> yeah. It'll start smoking right about now. We're in qualifying right now. Coming to the line to complete one lap. I'm gonna have to uh, box the car after this lap because we're running very, very hot. We're smoking out the rear, <laughs> coming through the banking. We'll see what this lap is though. Hopefully it's decent. I don't know how it'll be though. Depends how much rubber the track has on it and stuff. Hey. I made it in the 49. Great job. I think that means the track's fast because I, I did a terrible line through the parabolica. Yeah, but there's one and a half seconds, maybe there, but it's, it's fine. That's already a great lap. All right, that's a relief. I think it's been saturated. Session. Check. So it shouldn't build up grip. Oh, really? I think, I'm not sure. I'm going to set the radiator to three and just do some laps too. Yeah. Yeah, you're second now. That's not what I wanted to hear. Who got first? Yeah, I don't know. Of course. What did they do? Only six, six tenths only. Uh, 48 nine. And he's a professional. What? <laughs> yeah. yeah, you can get damage if you hit the curbs and the chicanes. Especially if you hit them sideways and like bend the tire. You'll get suspension damage, which is not ideal. You are two seconds faster than Jackson. I mean, if things are looking really good, like, I don't mind if your name's in front of us. Um, but I'll do a few laps here, then I might park it for a bit. Yeah, makes sense. Just to preserve my myself, and then also if we need to go back out at the end. Yeah, and if you get a, I mean, basically you could you could do some race practice as well. Yeah, I did that yesterday. Ah, good. Yeah, my chat's also reminded me that I had to slow for a car in Curva Grande. Yeah, true. All right, yeah, so I think I could get a few tenths better than that, at least. Maybe six tenths. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm excited for this now, now that I've got the one qualifying lap in. Good to hear. I'm also really excited. What would I think about doing modern endurance cars on iRacing? So the thing is, I'm I, I don't I don't really enjoy driving those types of cars personally. So that's that's why I don't do them. Uh, once in a while, I, I like doing a random race, and I've been enjoying. I did a little bit with the like DPI prototypes in Automobilista 2 
recently with like playing around with the AI and stuff. That's fun, but it's just like this this kind of stuff is just what I get more excited about, which is why I uh, I tend to do this. But they're fun once in a while. I'm I'm also very bad at them because I never drive that type of car. So like I know when uh, some of the DPIs or the uh, HPDs HPDs hypercars whatever they're called came out in iRacing. I did some fun laps with some friends around Le Mans, and I was like five seconds a lap slower. And I thought I was doing pretty good, too. I just don't have the feel for it. <laughs> so, but yeah, I mean, I never say no to anything. Um, I just tend to like these kind of cars a lot more. So this is all about not missing my braking markers. You can't really get these cars slowed down faster if you miss something. So it's like... <laughs> yes, Sam, I tried the caddy. <laughs> I, tr I, I legitimately gave it my best during that, and I was still like four seconds slower than you guys. So, I mean, I think if I practiced a lot, I could probably figure it out, but it's just not, it's not my passion. percent distance formula e it's crazy i think Ascari. i think i drove this lap better than my last lap but i was three seconds slower <laughs> oh wow it's i think the radiator really makes a difference it does uh, also the car really likes to be you know the old saying that if it looks slow it's fast so like minimum slip and clean lines it's really quick Yeah, for folks tuning in, we're, we're driving, this car is the, the physics are the Ferrari 330 P4. All of the cars in this set are uh, physically modeled off of, you know, the real cars, but the, the visual models are, are fictionalized. But it's a Ferrari 330 P4, which is the perfect car to have around Monza, I think. Hoping I'll maybe catch a few cars and can uh, practice some traffic a little bit. A little squirrely there in the braking. Oop, gonna miss it. Did I think you I get a one? Slowed down too early. Yeah. Yeah, I thought so. The thing is, I want to pull to the right there, because if somebody blasts through it, they're just going to run into you if you park in the little opening. Hmm, that's true. do one more lap like this but I might just park it for a bit all right car feels good I think we're fairly fast so far I still a second all right heads down for this one try one more lap but I I don't think I'm gonna go any faster this second with this setup No, it is not an easy track for braking. It is the chicanes are so hard. Ooh. That's that was a bit ambitious by myself. <laughs> well you have the bank lap already, so you can just try things. Exactly. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna sit for a little while. Watch some of the other cars going around. Oh. 
Cyclops. This is this is Yerne. So he's racing in the Chaparral. Do you know who Yerne's teammate is, Oscar? David Mrocek. Is he also a an esporter? Yeah, I suppose so. He's a burst guy. So I don't know if it's I don't know if he races for them or tests or what. I'm not that knowledgeable about these spots anymore. <laughs> yeah, I have no no clue about it. Oh, bit sideways there. Spins it out. Nice backs out of the way just to be nice with everybody. Hold on, let me see how f how close we are to him. So, oh wow, he gained a lot of times. One point four seconds faster. Yeah. I'll I'll definitely give it another go here in a little bit. We'll see if some folks fill in, and uh, I'll put like the two radiators set up back on and give it another try. Yeah, sounds good. Now we've also got some of these cars that are. The I can also ones. look a bit closer and uh, try to coach you if you want. Yeah, I mean I know that lap I did was not not perfect. The yeah. Curva Grande definitely could pick up probably five tenths right there because I, I took it wide and slowed down a bit because of the uh, or hesitated at least and then mm, yeah. Parabolica I didn't break late enough so I think uh, those two things alone could probably give me a second if that I nailed the good. rest of it yeah yeah we got this one's a uh, Lola Liam asked to tell Jake to slow down thanks <laughs> in the discord <laughs> to the edge. So we've got some of these cars. This one's like a Lola kind of thing. Let me switch to this. Just to clean it up for you guys a little bit. So this one's a Lola. And uh, I think I can switch cars. So this... Nope. This one's one of the Matras. What do we got here? Mark, Mark Johnson. Does the Chaparral wing move? Good question. Do you know, Oscar, if the Chaparral wing moves in this? It does, yeah. Is it a pedal or is it just like a DRS button? It depends how you map it. Huh? Yeah, so I guess they'll be fast on the streets. Also, if it gets, I uh, keep on saying your name when I talk to you because then the chat knows that I'm talking to you. Yeah, <laughs> so all right. If that yeah. gets annoying, <laughs> just let me know. <laughs> no, it's fine, it's fine. Wakes me up. <laughs> That's it. There's not so many cars out there right now, it feels like. Here's a, oh, a whole pack leaving the pits. Yeah, in real life, the Chaparral wing actuated based off a pedal. So the, the car, a lot of folks don't know that the real Chaparral was, uh, was a semi-automatic car and it didn't need a gear, uh, a clutch for shifting between uh, once you're moving. So from a standstill, they had a clutch, but once they got moving, they didn't actually need a clutch pedal. This is in 66, mind you, 67. Um, they didn't need a clutch pedal, and so the pedal that was normally your clutch was actually the actuator for the rear wing, so the driver could push it to the ground to flatten out the wing and pull it back to, uh, to you know, raise it back up. Very cool stuff. <laughs> so ahead of its time. Um, I also should mention there's meant to be a broadcast for this race, too, uh, that if you guys want to watch it alongside or tune in there and then come back and watch this later. Um, uh, I don't have the link to it yet. I don't think they've published it or something, so hopefully we get that at some point and I can share it with everybody if you want to watch commentary and all that. Listen to the sound of this thing. It's nice. Oh, somebody was spinning off there. Ooh. Hold on to it. Wow. Keep on getting the same folks over and over again. What is going on here? I'm in the pits. Here's Ervin. We raced against uh, some of these folks in the HSO. Uh, if you miss the chicane, you got to come to a complete stop, I believe. We'll hear together in the driver's briefing here in... in 
about an hour. I sent you the official stream link if you want it. Oh, thank you. I was just talking about that with my chat. I will, I will update the uh, stream. Thanks. All right, I'm gonna put this in our in the stream chat or the. Uh, well, I'll put it in chat, but then I'll also put it in the description. Why not? So, if folks want to catch the official live stream broadcast. Um, I'll put it there for you all. Wow, there's a lot of po folks in here today. I hope it ends up being a really good race. It's one of those things, whenever you do one of these races that, uh, you know, that have, it's all real people. We're doing driver swaps. Like, so much stuff could go wrong in this beyond just the driving part. There's just a lot to think about. So, um, looks like Franica Drecki is actually up there up front. Here's Jackson. Jackson's racing the Ferrari like we are. It's, uh, Liam. Liam is on this team with Jackson, I believe. Take the high line coming out of the corner. Looks like uh, Frank was able to slip it up into second. Oh yeah, he found a speed. He's been very, very quick, but I've got I've got questions about the longevity of them. So yeah, we'll they're both really quick, and even if they make it to the end, it's we might beat them on fuel. Are there Ford Mark IVs? There are Ford Mark IVs in this mod. I don't know, or you know, the approximation of it. I don't know if anybody actually signed up with one. I think they're not the fastest. Here we got another one of the Chaparrales. This one, this one's, I think they've got a sponsorship, a corporate sponsorship on them. Something tells me. The race should start in about an hour, I believe. So if you're looking for to come back when the race starts. It should be about an hour from now. We've got another 30 minutes or so, 38 minutes of qualifying, and then a 20 minute warm up slash driver's briefing. Oh, right out to the grass. Nope, he's on it. He slid off. Slid off into the grass. Devin in another Ferrari. They're still sitting third. Mark Jones also in the Ferrari. Okay, all right, here's a GT40. They're in the pits right now, though. But um, I believe that's a Mark II. This is a really nice paint scheme on this car. I don't know if they're... It just reminds me of Sweden. I don't know if they're Swedish or not. Cool. I like how they made one corner of the car have a yellow square on it too because you'll see back back in the day the left bumper there has a square of yellow a lot of the teams did stuff like that so they could tell their cars apart you know as they pass the pit lane and stuff yeah it is crazy that the spoiler being so high in the air you know does work but it it actually is technically better uh, it's more efficient arrow wise to have a spoiler that high because it's out of all the dirty air uh, but pretty quickly a lot of series outlawed you know high spoilers like that all right now we've got we've also got a bunch of these 1.6 slash 2 liter cars these are all the porsches it's a long long tail um so they're kind of having a separate race than us um but of course in the same race so we'll, we'll have to pass them as we go Yeah, center of gravity. It's also incredibly difficult to make su uh, support struts that are, like, really strong enough, especially with the materials they had back in the 60s, um, you know, to, to make those things viable. So there were a lot of wing collapses, especially or specifically in Formula One, that, that led to them being outlawed pretty quick.
of Montas. Montas, somebody who raced in that 50 sports car race who I uh, had the accident with. <laughs> Hopefully avoid that today. He's in a slower class uh, in this one, so we'll probably see him a few times. That's white Porsche. Still sitting in third. It's good. A few more Porsches. This one's a cool colored car. We've got very uh, cool style uh, wheel rims there. Chicane layout is cool. It is very difficult. <laughs> it is not a uh, not an easy track to master. I don't know if I've got it mastered yet. I think we have one Porsche, uh, uh, regular Porsche, in there. All right, here's a GT40 Mark IV. So we do have one in the race. This is being driven by Mikkel. I'm not sure who the teammates are. It is going to be... I'm going to try my best to keep track of things, especially when I'm not driving. Uh, but you don't get a lot of information when you're riding along with somebody about the rest of the race. So it's going to be hard to tell what's going on. Um, that's probably where the, the official broadcast will come in handy. I think they added the chicanes in either 65 or 66 thereabouts for the uh, sports cars. Yeah, lap one chicane. I mean, it is at the end of the lap, so we do a full lap of the Grand Prix course before we get to the chicanes. But yeah, I'm, I'm nervous about it. But hopefully everybody knows it's a 100-lap race, and, uh, and you know, just give it that extra space. Break a bit early on the opening lap just to get through everything, get things spread out before we really start pushing. Ooh, it's a bit hot there. Oh, we got a car stopped in the chicane as well. Yeah, I think the problem with the Mark IV is how heavy it is. It is very, very heavy. Um, we are a lot slower in a straight line than the Chaparrales and the Lolas especially. Uh, probably also this car. But the corners, the chicanes, as well as the Grand Prix course, we actually do quite well there. So I know, 100 laps. Sounds like a long time. The stints are long here, too. I mean, we're at least doing 25 laps on a stint. Um, so... It's about over an hour of driving per stint. All right, we're through about half the session. I might go out there and just try another another run. Just see what I can do. I don't know if I'll be able to get these top guys. Frank has actually got up to the lead. There's two cars in the 47s, and then we're sitting in the 49s. Wow. I'm going to do another, another attempt. Oh, good luck. Yeah, I have done plenty of running with full fuel and stuff, and it is, for me, it is quite a bit slower, at least a couple seconds a lap. Uh, that also might just be kind of race pace mentality. So, we'll see. I don't know. I don't know how we're going to do today. Ascari, like I said at the very start of the stream, he's, he is much quicker than me. And so my goal really is to get it just a decent run going through the first stint and then hand the car over to him to do his magic. And uh, hopefully it all works out for us driver swaps and all that. I have tried the group five cars in race room before. It's actually one of the one of the only cars I've tried in that game. Um, they're fun. I mean, I don't know. I, I've had trouble with the AI in race room being just super aggressive and kind of annoying to uh, to race against because they'll punt you. Oh yeah, we practiced the driver swap quite a few times, so hopefully we're able to do it. But all right, we'll come around. I got one shot at this because the car is going to overheat, 
after one lap with these settings. We'll see if we can put together a good lap, though. Messy line coming into Curva Grande. Only got a tenth on it. Yeah, the driver swap is probably the thing we're most nervous about, just making sure it works, because they are a bit finicky is a good word for it. Uh, I'm like barely quicker than my best time so far. Try to get Parabolica here a bit better. A little bit better on the brakes, so still a little early. All right, that got me eight tenths. <laughs> I just gotta do the chicanes now. Oh, car coming out of the pits. Yeah, he's gonna let me go. Thank, thank you, thank you. Oh uh, no, no, no. Ah, so close. Of course, I was a second up. Yeah, it looked fast. <laughs> uh, I could try that again. We'll calm down for a minute here. Yeah. We've got plenty of time left, 27 minutes. I mean, we're third right now. Yeah. And it doesn't feel like there's much threat yet. There's a couple cars close. Oh, uh, Frank beat Tierney by 1,000. Yeah. Wow, 1,000th one of a second. <laughs> wow. I, I, just from practice, I feel like those two are in kind of a separate league. Oh, there goes Bayer up front, too. Oh, oh wow. he's He's within range, so I'm going to go out and try to beat that. Yeah, brake balance is, is definitely aggressive, but it's very helpful for the uh, medium and high speed corners to have a little bit of that rearward. So, I'm going to keep it as it is for now. The one car coming up behind me, I think we'll get through the chicane before he gets here, I hope. We don't scare him or something. up the road. I think I'll pass this car directly in front of me before the lap starts, and then Jackson's up the road. He should be about the same speed as us. Wow, that's a rocket ship in front. Yeah, I for some reason thought that was going to be a slower class car. We'll see how it all plays out this lap. Is that a GT40? Yeah. I 
That's not good. There's too much going on in this lap. Yeah, true. Yeah, the slipstream would have been good, but there's just too many cars and stuff going. And I, I ran wide through Curva Grande, so. We'll uh, try it again. Yeah, we'll take a look at the full grid once uh, qualifying's over and all that. To see where everybody's at. Nobody behind me right now. Or Jackson's not super far behind. Oof. My god. Man, I cannot get it slowed down suddenly. I'm gonna let these two go. He did the same thing. Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll get a good slip through. Meet the chicane's done. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of them either, but it's historically accurate, so it's. It's neat to try for once. All right, we're not super far behind Jackson. Uh, I just hope he has a decent lap, or I somehow slip by him, or he, you know, quits out or something. All right, much better entry into Curva Grande. A little too early on the throttle that time. Just touched the grass, lost a couple, ponderous. Keep my foot in it here, fourth gear, rev it out. Down to third for the Lesmos. A little bit early on the turn in. Try to pick up the throttle to get it to rotate, to understeer in the middle there, lose about a tenth. I'm gonna get a great slipstream down the back section here. Alright, I'm about a tenth behind my, my best time so far, but remember, I lost a lot of time on my best lap through the Parabolica, so I think I can I can pull it back there. Whoa, understeering a lot through Ascari. Almost on the verge of locking up there. I'm gonna be right with him. This might slow me down a bit through the chicanes. Not, not even if he goes slow, but just following a car this closely is not, not easy. Yeah, I backed out of that because I was gonna nail him. Yeah. Ah, uh, that was another second up. Ah, uh, good. It'll come. It's, all, it's only good if I finish it. It's already good. 20 minutes to go. That's like 10 attempts. I'm not quite. But... I'm gonna kill myself doing this. <laughs> yeah, I purposely lunged there because we were gonna be side by side. I was probably gonna miss the chicane, but then we were also just gonna be side by side in it if I had made it. So, best to just avoid.
so for the race, we're going to run a much wider radiator opening, and so it uh, it won't it won't overheat. Hey Grizzly, yeah, we're we're currently sitting fourth on the grid, uh, the first of our class, really. So I, I think I can easily pick up a half a second. You're gonna give you an now. Uh, I don't know that worried about it. Uh. He's so, he's out of reach. Like I'm not doing a 47, so. Oh yeah, and here left space. Slower car up the road. I don't think I'm gonna. I'm gonna think I'm gonna get him right at the turn in. Uh. Mm, maybe, maybe it'll work out. Ah. Uh. I think I scared him. Yeah, it's I feel bad, man. but I didn't. I didn't <laughs> hit him. No. Just the understeer there, right out to the edge. I'm a little bit down. I'm three and a half tenths down, but I think I'm going to gain a lot of it back here. All right, just the chicanes now. broke a bit early for it because I've been missing it. It's all right. Four tenths. Not. Nice. Right on the verge of lock up there, down a second gear. Pop the curve just a little bit. Don't want to do that in the race. Uh, I lost like two tenths through there. All right, this is going to be my best lap though, but it's still not as quick as I could go. Let's see where this puts me. Oh, we've slipped back to fifth. And it picked up a little, but I don't think we improved. I think we lost another spot, yeah? Yeah, our fifth now. The four to go us. Oh, the Vaillant. Not by so much, though. I do think. Oh, I do think it's possible for sure. Yeah, I, I agree. Fifteen minutes. Right. Removing the sweater. Already.
Oh no, it crashed. R Factor 2 crashed. Oh, jeez. That's no good. I can uh, jump back in, but that's not ideal. Yeah. Why, I wonder why that happened. Just as I went to join the car, too, which, man, if that happens in the race, I'm going to be very upset. Yeah, I don't know why it just did. It, it just stopped working. All right, trying to back in. Did it crash before it because excuse me? Did it crash because it was loading uh, other skins? May maybe. Well, no, it crashed, so I hit drive. Oh, and okay. It, you know, it like kind of pauses for a second as it loads you into the car, and and it crashed. Yeah. Yeah, I think it just crashed for me, Tony. But we'll uh, give it a second here. I should probably rejoin as well. Just so we don't have any funny business. <laughs> yeah, uh, maybe once my stint finishes I'll exit and rejoin, I don't know. Yeah, sure. Didn't crash this time. Oh, where am I? I have a new garage stall or something. Oh. I don't know where I am. I'm lost in Monza. That's weird that I got a new garage stall, right? Where, where is the track? Uh, I forgot to push the dog. So, left. Uh, yeah, left now. Oh, <laughs> uh, there we Okay, I know where I am now. <laughs> so, we have to relearn the pit stall as well. Uh, I can hit the button here. Should see it as I drive by. That's weird. So it like took a new slot for us or something? Yeah. It's all the way at the end. Oh, interesting. All right, 11 minutes to go in this. Yeah, it felt like I was at the the mall, trying to find a parking spot. Tourists, yeah. All the jokes now. Give them to me now. Get them over with. Uh, no, this is the one. Don't go too far into the upper. I was wondering if he's gonna let me go high. He should. That's a tight squeeze. Whew. Uh, we need five tenths. Oh, okay. <laughs> Coming up. I'm sure that it's all in the Curva Grande. Oh, I don't have a relative anymore because the time got wiped from my like thing.
I think I'm probably too tight on the entry there, yeah? Nah, I think that's the best uh, fire get really early on, on throttle. So much quicker coming into the last moment. I didn't have the right radiator on. Oh, I might be aware of this quick there. <laughs> and the gear as well. The gear? Oh, I have been yeah, you can drop the, the gears. Gear. Yeah. Which gear? Uh, fifth, one click down. You mean change the ratio up? Okay. I think I got it. Yeah, show the, show the fifth. <laughs> Thanks for engulfing. Yes, there's lots worse, worse places to get lost in for sure. Oh, we got one of the uh, yellow cars here. We're lucky we have two attempts. I've got a good gap behind me here. I'm gonna just give it a minute. There's just like five cars immediately in front. Yeah, good. Uh, but don't go too slow or you'll overheat the engine. Yes, boss. <laughs> Saw a car smoking down the front stretch on the other side. Every <laughs> everybody's doing it, huh? There should be about 30 cars in this race, maybe one or two less. It's definitely a full grid. I can hear the gear change for fifth. Yeah. Maybe hold for just a bit and then go. That was bad. Oh, uh, keep going. It'll be a bit quicker now, so remember in the braking. I don't know why that didn't work. Damn. Still one attempt to go. At least. This is when we're grinding out qualifying. I mean, we've slid back to seventh now. Did we get any other of the Ferraris ahead of us? 
I see we're in seventh now. Yeah, no, no Ferraris. At least we could be Crookus Ferrari. Yeah. But now we're really in the mess <laughs> with everybody. True. Oh, there's a good gap here. I don't know what I'm doing now. I think I'm just pushing it too hard into the braking. Yeah, it's chill. I, I think you can get five tenths just by being uh, like doing a similar lap than before. Still have time for one more if you exit now. That's a heck of a crash. Whoa. That was that. I got surprised that the uh, braking marker for the 200 is gone. Oh no. I mean, that's not why I crashed. I just crashed because I went too fast, but I, you know, stopped a second and was like, where is the brick? Oh, it's gone. <laughs> that's gonna be inconvenient in the race. Yeah, I've got a big hole here. Alright. Alright, I gotta complete a lap, so we're just gonna do a lap and we'll see if I can do better, but. This silly pushing nonsense is not uh, not working. A yeah, grizzly in the chat is right. Slow is smooth. Smooth is fast. It's easier said than done. Mm. Did that on purpose. <laughs> All right, this is my last lap because we got 35 seconds left in the session, which means I think I'll be able to complete this lap, and that's it. All right, this is the one. Also wide there. 
and wide there. Well, I'm three for three missing corners. Uh, that's fine. It was wide on all three. <laughs> yeah, we'll see if I can, I don't know, scoop it through the final few chicanes. Yeah, break a bit early for Parabolica because you're going a bit fast. as well, maybe 10 meters early. Ah, so close. <laughs> nice, nice fun, we are... Oh man. We our class. We still got our class here. Yeah. It'll oh. be middle, middle of third row. Yeah. <laughs> middle of third row, perfect. I think so, yeah. Ugh. Well. Uh, do we have a warm-up up session or not? Well, I know there's the warm-up, but it's also the driver's briefing, right? Um, do you have time to do, like, practice stuff? Like, now? I have done some. With, if you're loaded the setup, and... Um, maybe. Nah, I can't, it... I can't click drive. Uh, yeah, yeah, of course, because it's... I thought maybe it'll let you drive to the red light. Yeah, not so lucky. Um, Do we got to join the driver's chat thing, then? I think so, yeah. Okay, I'll jump in there. All right, so we're going to do the driver's briefing, so I got to join, like, the uh, briefing room. Got no permission to speak right. in this channel. Hello, everyone. I'm going to quickly wait for the rest of everyone to come in. Right. Wonderful to have all of you here. First of all, thank you very much for making the time and uh, you know for taking part in this event. An event obviously can't take place without its drivers, so I am very, very grateful that we pretty much doubled the participant number in cars and you know even more than that um did that for um, from uh, the targa earlier this year let me quickly get the briefing document up if it would work there we are thank you adobe so easily put together first of all thank you all for attending once again uh, this is the official briefing. Um, we'll start with the starting procedure. It's going to be a formation lap and then standing start. The formation lap, please stay in single file since we have, as you can see here on the picture, a 3-2-3 three, three grid. Um, that's also going to be later for the actual start, but uh, first formation lap. Speed limit will be for the formation lap around 120 kilometers an hour. You can exceed that to catch up. I didn't know there's a formation. Ah, lap. hold on. The driver. Roll. There we are. News to me that there's um, a formation lap. But yeah, you, you can exit to catch up, but obviously, you know, stay in single file up until the grid, and uh, obviously, stay careful that we don't have a wreck on uh, the formation lap, since that would be very counterproductive. Needless to say. Then the start, 3-2-3 three, three good, um, since you are supposed to stay on the proper side of the cones in the middle of the grid, oh, well, in the, in the middle of the straight that's split into. Um, do be careful, please, especially in the first couple hundred meters before the barrier comes in to split between the oval and the start-finish straight. Uh, so I can understand, you know, standing start, wanting to gain positions and all that stuff, but please do be careful, you can 
definitely lose the race before turn one, but it's less likely that you're going to win it before turn one. And uh, yeah, caution, caution, caution. And then the front straight, a little um, thing that I have made here. Um, if I zoom in, there we are. It uh, doesn't really have the best resolution. I'm sorry for that. Um, basically, the front straight split. Um, I put that here as a cautionary thing because we have the two lanes with the thing in the middle that makes the remaining, well, both sides of the straights rather narrow. So please be careful with overtaking, and especially at the corners of a Parabolica and uh, the uh, second banking turn over here, because uh, especially when you're overtaking on the banking towards the end of the corner, the banking does drop off, it evens out, and uh, cars are just you know, physically dragged to the outside by the weight and G-forces. And uh, yeah, hitting the outside wall, then spinning across both lines, uh, both uh, sides of the straight, uh, very, very dangerous. So. Yeah. Please be careful around there. Um, the pit exits uh, I will address in a moment as well. Uh, and yeah, basically the front straight caution, please keep that in mind up until the um, divider wall that comes just before the uh, Retifilio Tribune. Lapping. Um, I got asked that quite a lot in the last couple of yeah, uh, Days, um, the outside uh, line will be mainly for the out, uh, for the faster class. And when it's outside of the uh, outside of the banking, just keep in mind as a rule of thumb, you know, it's endurance rules, responsibility of the faster class to make a safe pass. But the slower class, please do not defend, uh, make it intentionally more unsafe or you know, hardcore defend against the lapping class, because that will also be penalized. Then, yeah, banking, as I said, faster cars usually go around the outside. The slower class, very big hint here, do not go just like completely on the apron, like there's no point in that. Um, just keep low line, like uh, above the yellow line, in the end the apron is probably the unsafest place on the, uh, on the entire banking, and it's mainly there for damaged cars to slowly make their way back to the pits. Uh, if they are, you know, damaged that early in the lap after the pit lane. But, uh, yeah, track limits, it's enforced by the in-game cut system. If you cut the chicanes, make sure to slow down accordingly. The track uh, limit points are set to default value of 5. The track limits are also there on the yellow lines because of, you know, set caution everything as well. And uh, on the pit blend line. So keep in mind for the uh, pit exit, we do have the pit exit line. I know it's not quite historically accurate, but uh, it's not a bad thing here because there's quite a big speed differential. And uh, yeah, just keep to the wall, keep behind the pit limit, uh, pit, uh, behind the um, pit limit or uh, the pit exit blend line um, until that building where you know building ends, couple of trucks are parked, and all that stuff. You know, that's basically the pl uh, the place where you can just safely rejoin the racing line if there's space. Um, the pit lane also doesn't have a pit speed limit, but it's your guys' responsibility to safely enter and exit the pit lane and pit box. And uh, yeah, another hint for you guys, not as a regulation, but this is you know, a, a, an important notice to have. You will need an extra like 0 0.6 laps uh, for the remaining lap, because you keep in mind up here, you guys end the lap on the left side of the straight and you do come into the pits uh, after doing an entire lap of the gp layout so just keep it in mind just that you don't run out of pits uh that you don't run out of fuel there we are driver swap i hope that everyone has attempted that so far it's the procedure is simple you know driver one joins we're way beyond that already um then driver two joins as a spectator uh will be the server then driver two clicks on the red passenger button then selects their car and then yeah you, you guys should be in. Before the driver swap happen, happens, important note, um, press insert or whichever uh, button you have allocated to the driving cameras to make sure that you know you are actually in the driving camera because otherwise it will default you to the track side cameras for the broadcast. Setup have to be installed and assigned before the race, and that's also something you know 
hopefully you guys have tested this before. Next up, in case of a disconnect, um, you guys can return to the server and carry on with the race. The car will be in the condition that the that it was in when the connection was interrupted by either a crash or a disconnect. So it's not a feasible option for a quick repair, so to say. Incident reports and uh, post-race penalties will be done after the race. Uh, if you have an incident, uh, make sure to penalties. note down the track, uh, the the number, the, the lap number that you're on, the number of the opposing car. Obviously, that give your uh, car number as well in the incident report. The form will be published after the race is finished. And uh, yeah, the remaining thing, you know, chat. Obviously, um, chat uh, uh, chat usage is uh, forbidden during the race. This is also in the actual rule book, so I hoped that I don't have to put it into the briefing. Any questions? I'm not sure we can actually speak in this thing anyway if we had questions, but yeah, it's pretty thorough. The briefing. Nico, one question, please. Yep. Uh, at the end of the formation lap, we just have to remember where our grid slot is, or is it marked? You have a marker from the in-game stuff, like yeah, you have yeah, a red right. glow glowing thing there. Like the pit lane. Mark, pit spot marker. Thank you. Okay, gotcha. Nice. Any other questions? You can write in uh, the briefing room questions thing normally. Yeah, some thought went into it. It takes a lot to plan Hold events on. like this. I know it. Here we are. But just having done it a bit, it's not an easy, not an easy uh, thing. A lot of, uh, lot of work. Now, so. I think we're going to have about 10 minutes break before the start of the race. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, could you repeat everything you just said? I was zoning out. <laughs> uh, that's a good one. They can't hear me, so don't worry. Yeah, the start will be 3-2-3. Three, three. Um... I, uh, I wrote down um, the thing wrong in the regulations in the for the starting grid. Um, I wrote down in announcements um, around like 10 minutes or around three laps, three to four laps before your driver swap is happening. The second driver can um, go on as a spectator. And yeah, that's the point of the formation lap, so you can warm tires, brakes, and engine and stuff. Though I... Uh, I probably think that you want to keep your engine on the cooler side. Yeah, I don't think anybody here wants to warm their engines up. Um, pit boxes are in line in the pit lane. They are not in the parking area in the back. So they are just in the pit lane. The uh, The parking area is uh, the garage spot. So yeah, difference there. I'm going to exit and rejoin just to make sure I have the best shot of our factor. Yeah, he is okay to drive. The most important thing is that, um, you know, every single uh, team has at least one person present in the briefing. And sharing pit boxes, it is a possibility, but um, yeah, I'm hoping that it's not. Like, I couldn't uh, edit the pit boxes and the thing so far, but that's on note for next time as well. <laughs> Everybody loves the idea of a Lamal start. Right. Uh, any more questions? Okay, I take that as a no. Then, ladies and gentlemen, you're all dismissed. The best of luck in the race. And, uh, yeah, I hope that you all have fun. I hope we all have fun, too. Let me jump back with Ascari here. And 
uh, make sure he feel, feels comfortable that I, I only exited so that we, uh, so that I have the best shot at things not breaking. <laughs> uh, all right. He seems efficiently German. He, I believe Nico is German. Yes. Time for talking is over. Did you get all that, Ascari? Yeah, I suppose so, yeah. All right, I'm going to jump away real quick uh, just to get some water and stuff, and then I'll be back. I'll, I'll do a quick practice start, but I've done a bunch, so hopefully it goes Yeah, well. I suggest try both first and second gear stats. Yeah. All right, I'll be back in a sec. Yeah, see ya. All right, and all of you, I'll be back in just a minute. And, uh, and then oof, it's time for the race. All right, see you all in a minute. All right. I think I'm ready. I hope I'm ready. All right. All right, you're back. Great. Uh, check the setup. Yeah, I did. We got the right one. Great. Fantastic. Where do you reckon the best place to try a standing start is? Yeah, good question. Let's see if I can see it. Oh. probably. Yeah. So I don't think we're gonna have to worry about overheating at all, right? Because the no, yeah. the radiator's yeah. pretty open now. Yeah. It doesn't look like there's much rubber on our grid spot, so pretty much anywhere should be fine. Yeah, and, and for the folks watching too, and um, just to remember for ourselves, we can change the radiator in the pit stops, so if we need to, if we're so slow that we feel like we can't keep up, we could always close it up a bit. So four minutes, can do a couple of practice starts, though you'll warm off the tires, so maybe the next ones won't be as representative, and then we can go and find our pit stall. Yeah, I'll do a quick practice start and then I when I did my testing I was doing first gear. You're saying yeah. second might be uh, better. But I don't. I haven't tried, so I, I thought maybe it's good to try. I mean, I could definitely get away from the line at first, but yeah, maybe because the shift's pretty quick if I'm remembering. Yeah. And also less over over revving possibilities. True. We don't want to over rev. That's right. Eighty two hundred, right? Yeah. Alright, this is a first gear. Yeah, it's an over -rev. 
Yeah, that's just a bit this far. I mean, it definitely gets away. It's a pretty quick shift to uh, to second, though. I'll try second here. Uh, not good. Yeah, it just bogs. Yeah, I'm gonna do first, I think. Yeah. All right, we'll practice a pit entry next time around. I look like a New Englander lumberjack. Come on now. I live in New England. We all dress like this here. Everybody wears flannels. It's cold. It's, uh, it's been like below freezing the last few days up here. So, you want to not take tires the first time. You want to try that, right? We can, we can look at the tire wear as we go. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I'll try my best not to lock them up. If it's over 90%, then it's fine. Listen to this guy. It's doable. Yeah, flannel, flannel is all about keeping warm. And, uh, real flannel. There's a lot of shirts and stuff that look like these, this pattern, but they're not actually flannel material. And the flannel material is very warm. That's why folks wear it. If you get a good flannel, you can you can basically go outside in the winter with one and uh, almost like a light jacket. Oh, yeah, you don't see my wheel and pedals. I'll get that back up in a minute. All right, pit stop, entry. You gotta take it a little easy. You don't wanna overshoot. That's a little too easy. Ah, so right at the end again. Right at the end. Oh man, I'm ready for this. <laughs> I'll try to just be, I mean, try to get into some sort of position. As long as we're moving forward or uh, headed in the right direction, not spun around or something, I think we'll be yeah. pretty, pretty safe. Yeah, yeah. Just find a good place to slot into and build from there. And I, think we're, uh, I think we're decent compared to the other uh, three liter cars. Yeah, I agree. Is, I can't remember from the actual class thing. Is that actually a separate class, or are they combining them? Uh, they, wait, they are combining them, yeah. And remember, it's, it takes a couple of laps for the car to settle down, so it, it'll be a bit difficult to brake. It'll lock up easy in the first couple of laps. All right, I think we're ready to join, yeah? 50 seconds to grid. Double check setup. Yep, full fuel and radiator four. And now changes to the setup. Yep, Is same that... setup as, as always. Yeah. All right, starting a race. 100 laps, so I really just got to get through this first stent clean and hand the car over to Ascari in a, in a decent state. If we can be, you know, not have any incidents and and maybe still be on the lead lap, <laughs> that'll be good for me. I appreciate everybody joining today. It's a nice big crowd. I know there's a lot of stuff going on today. Please, please go check out, like, Jimmy and everybody's stream for the charity event. Uh, I wish I, I, wish I could have done that. Um...
Do I gotta stay behind somebody? Take your spot. I don't know where my spot is. I don't think it's ahead of this blue car. Yeah, I think it is. Ah. No, nah, he, <laughs> he was a row in front of me. Yeah, true, true. And I think this Chaparral is actually supposed to be behind me too. Yeah. Or no, the uh, Ferrari there on the right. All right, I've changed the setup to, or the uh, strategies to not change tires. And uh, when we get closer, are you riding with me yet? Or you'll do that later? No, not that. No, I'll, okay. I'll do it later. All right, we'll just make sure that we uh, change it to you. Nice group of cars in front. Oh, boy. We're at 88 oil temp right now. Probably best just to keep low RPM, you think? Yeah, it's fine. I think it's fine no matter what we do. It's not really possible to warm up the tires, right? No. And they'll wear. So don't do that. <laughs> He's gonna try doing some brakes, but. Oh, Neckelman, thank you. Contribution Just to the be gas really careful fund. On the first lap. Good luck. Uh, thank you, man. I need the luck. There's gonna be a lot of luck involved in this today, and hopefully, just I can do us proud for the first stint here, and uh, and get the car over to Ascari in one piece. Thank you so much for the for the super chat. I only know Jackson behind me. Do you know anything about Devin Brown or Mikel Ramos? No, not really. I think what's what's Brown? Uh, Timothy is Timothy. Oh, did he change his name? He loves doing pseudonyms, yeah? No, but I think it's his teammate. So, good Brown is starting. It's probably going to yeah. be pretty good. Yeah. I think Timothy took a pseudonym in this race, too. Uh, I can see my grid spot on the front stretch. So. Ah, good. I don't like the formation lap. It's making me anxious. You get a whole lap to think about how how you could mess it up. I like when it's just go. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be cold tires and heavy cars. I really hope everybody is conservative here because these tires are cold. Yeah. And the cars are heavy. hazed no nerves yeah I um I feel good I just you know it's one of those things especially when you're sharing a car with somebody that you don't want to mess it up for both of you Ascari's done a lot of work he he built the setup he painted the car I feel like a filthy streamer who just jumped in and is taking the credit for it but um, he's the reason why we were able to qualify at the front of our our at least our car and uh, he's so fast in this and I just want to give him the car in a good spot without damage and so that he can work his magic and uh, and then we'll go from there but whatever happens this is just for fun this is not it's always just for fun with me so we'll just do our best today and uh, oof, hope it's a good race I really don't know what to expect these guys have done one other event before uh, that I wasn't able to join and uh, it seemed like it went really well so I'm expecting more of the same here oh thank you Herschel thank you Poser my gosh you guys are all very nice Hopefully it goes. Hopefully it goes well, <laughs> and I can at least entertain you for a few hours, if nothing else. All right, coming to the grid now. 
just going to find my grid stall. There it is. And we're going to be starting in first gear and uh, just try to get a clean start. I'll be in the middle, of course. Nice and easy in the middle. Ah, right. good luck. Oh, this is good. This is nice. <laughs> Here we go. 100 laps. 100 laps of Monza Historic. There's four, there's four horns before the green. over it quite well there. in the barrier. All right, we did it. Great start. Notice for Gurva Grande, there are no braking markers anymore. Oh, really? trying to get the first couple laps under our belt and then and then we'll think about the pace and all that but it's really just making it through the first few laps got one car coming up the inside it's there we're, we're clear It's one of the Lola's in front of us. We should be all right. You can rev higher. That was going to happen to at least one person. All right, I got Jackson right on my tail. Jackson and I have had quite a few good battles over the years. Come around a complete lap number one. That's always <laughs> it's always a good feeling. And uh, I don't think we have any braking markers for Curva Grande, so I have to try to figure out where to slow down. Oh no, there's some. It's just the 300 board that's gone up there. Yeah, it seems so. That's right, the MX-5 Legend Jackson. He's gonna have a 
a bit of a run here. Gonna jump on the brakes, give the extra breath there. Ooh, car in front misses the chicane. Miss the chicane, you just gotta come to a stop and uh, make sure you don't gain time, basically. So I don't think you necessarily have to give up a spot, but all right, here comes the Ford. Oh, this feels a bit miserable, but I'm just trying to do clean laps here. Yeah, keep doing. Where's the leader at? That's it. Franek is entering Parabolica now. He's really good going. <laughs> yeah, we'll see if they can keep it up. It's an awkward speed difference with these guys. They're a lot slower through this stuff, but on the, on the straights they just... Kill me. Yeah. Let's see if I can use their top speed, but I think they're just going to pull me on the straight pretty easily. Uh, I agree. Little slide there. Coming in the chicane. Make sure the car knows I'm still here. Still at 100% on all the tires. Ah, great. Good stuff. I did hit 9K once on the grid, so hopefully that doesn't come back to haunt us. I doubt it. It was just for a split second, but... Yeah. So the plan is for me to go kind of as far as we can go on this stint, but at least 25 laps and then hand it over to Ascari. He's going to do the same. Then I'll take back over around lap 50, around halfway to do one more stint, and then I'll give it to him for the end. So it's a four stint race. The pack racing isn't as bad as I thought it would be. Yeah, it's gotten spread out really quick. Oh, great. Let's see if I can safely just build a little more pace here. Yeah. Do whatever's comfortable.
see Donut behind me, uh, us, but is there anybody else that seems fast back there? Not really. Martin Baez, 12th. About... He's in a low low seven, though, right? Seven, yeah. He had a bad start, so he might be coming through. No retirements yet. Was it Martin in the grass? Yeah. On lap one? Yeah. He didn't hit the wall? Mm, I, I think he did a bit, but not bad enough. Luckily. The radiator is very cool. It's 97 right now. We may consider oh, wow. putting it to three. Yeah, I agree, yeah. Talking about the oil temp, you guys can see it on the, the gauge in the center of the screen at the bottom. It's 97 degrees right now. We want that to stay under 107. Jackson and Nicholas fighting up front. If it goes above 107, we'll start getting engine damage. And then, you know, things won't last very long for us. So it's very cool right now. I've been pretty easy on the revs, so I'm going to try to pick it up a little bit here and, and see if we can gain some more speed because I feel very, very slow. A clean start was what I hoped for, so I guess I can be happy with that. But we'll see if uh, if I can keep Donut behind me here, and then maybe catch up to Jackson. Who knows? Biggest thing, I just need to make sure I don't miss braking. That That is the easiest way to get into trouble with this. Donuts really catching me here. Yeah, the race is 100 laps unless we get lapped, in which case we'll, you know, not need to do those laps. But it is not a timed race. I'm on lap five right now. I'm just very focused on trying to keep it clean. I feel slow, but I'm not going to let that get to me. So I know, I know Ascari's quick and there's so much race to go. You, you really never know what's going to happen in these things.
Alright, that's my best lap yet, 54. in theory should just get faster and faster over the whole stint because of the fuel and uh, and everything so we'll see is the track dynamic for the race yeah but if it's not saturated then it doesn't matter see Martin coming up behind us. Cue the jazz music. Martin's right here. Yeah, it's been a, about two seconds back for a while now. Whoa, a car behind hit the curbs quite heavily. The tire wear is, is pretty light, so we're going to try to at least double stint the tires uh, because we'll save like 40 seconds in the pit stop if we double uh, now stint the tires. Now it's the next car behind. Yeah, Hazard not had a pretty bad chicane there. Huh? So I'm not going to worry about him. If he's going to pass me, I don't think he had a shot. <laughs> yeah, the donut's coming back at him. Nah, he backed up. Hey James. All right, here comes Martin Bear. He's he's just gonna have so much more top speed on me. He's driving the Lola, and it's a very fast car in a straight line. Yeah, those flagmen are perfectly safe behind the little seahorse or uh, sawhorses. All right, here comes Martin. Let him have the inside line. Try to stay with him though, because oh, that's a pretty car. Might have been better for me to stay in front, because I just don't want to lose Donut, or I don't want Donut to catch back up to me. Yes, yes, the JPS livery suits it. so much slower than Jackson. I'm like, what am I doing? It's the radiator, prob probably. Yeah, I mean, we're at 96 right now. Like, I'll look at yeah. what it is going into Curva Grande next lap, but I think we're probably pretty good to put it back to three. Yeah, I agree completely. on the front stretch now. Oh, this is the best part about Classic Monza. Look at this. It's going to come up my left side. Oh, you just can't quite get to see him. He's actually able to accelerate fast enough to match their speed there for a minute. I love that. That's so cool. It's kind of a also, shame. Also, you can use a bit more revs from 4th to 5th. Aye, aye. Yeah, 
Yeah, perfect. You hear that? Ascari thinks I'm perfect. Let's see if he thinks I'm perfect still if I miss a chicane at some point. Yeah, I think we maybe went a bit too safe on the cooling. We're, we're staying much cooler than... We thought it might be a really close pack race at the start, and uh, therefore the car would overheat in traffic a bit more, but it's, it's proving to not be. So we'll fix that on the first pit stop, and uh, hopefully Ascari can claw some of it back. But I'm just going to try to do the best I can here to uh, keep us relevant. And then we'll see how it plays out. I don't know. I mean, we're never going to have the top speed of, like, the Lola in front or the Chaparral, but we should be able to gain it back here through the intersection and not lose quite as much on the straights. So I think that's maybe where it's hurting us. I'm also not driving perfectly at the moment. Just trying to, uh, just trying to keep it clean. Man, really good start from everybody, though. How clean was that? We had one car, the Martin in front, have a little issue, but otherwise it seemed like everybody got away clean, which is so cool. Almost forgot to brake there. I don't know why. <laughs> don't do that. So now it's right on me now. All right, he got a much worse exit through, through all that. We'll back out a little bit. I think we might be catching the Ferrari that's ahead of Martin, both of us, so we'll just try to keep on it. Yeah, saving tires is going to be important for sure. Jeez, Fanex got a 10 second lead. He's been very quick, I just hope he can um, keep it together, you know? Yeah, I agree. I think he has been like the quickest in most of the practices though. True. About 83 fuel by the way. Sounds good. What about the tires? Talk to him after this corner. Uh, 98, 99, 98, 99. Nice. Yeah, I don't think I've locked him up yet, so I'll try to keep it like that. Yeah.
some sort of penalty removed from somebody. Yeah, it's a long race. You just kind of have to constantly, I have to constantly remind myself how long it is. Um, and that, you know, races like this, truly, the winner is the fastest car, almost always. The best car with the best strategy, or best, you know, not fastest car necessarily, but fastest team. Like, in true endurance racing, it truly is the best that wins most of the time. Um, and if you don't win, it's because you either didn't have pace or you, you did your strategy wrong. But it's a very pure type of racing, which is always fun. Ripped a little high that time. What's the bad number for revs? 83? 82. 82? Okay. Yeah. I'm trying to be, I'm trying to cut it as close as I can without going over. Yeah. I'm doing my best laps now. Oh, you're up to 252, it's great. Yeah, in my testing I was able to do 52s and 51s like fairly consistently, maybe the odd 53, so that's what I'm yeah. hoping for. Yeah, looks good. understeer through a scar is real yeah you gotta cu cut it really tight and otherwise you drop out of the groove I think we're catching some lap traffic left car coming up. It's a fan favorite. It is the proper pig, proper pork or livery. A good spot to catch him. Yeah, perfect spot, really. Alright, we're ninth overall, starting lap 11. Just getting close to halfway through the stint, and uh, things are really spreading out. I am doing my best laps that I've done, but I am falling into a bit of a hole here, so I'm just trying to keep Don out behind me, and uh, just see what happens up front. But we're just about halfway to completing my initial mission, which is to get this car to Ascari in one piece and in the best of places that I can, so I feel like I'm checking both of those boxes right now. Just try to keep it up. A little bit wide there, it's all right. This 
the sky and I chance talking to you in Finnish, I believe. I can't read it. <laughs> Oh, it's Mikkel in front of me now. hot that time. It's my first time being a little too hot there. You gain a lot of time, lap time, by just rolling through the chicane at a decent pace. So it's trying to not slow down too, too much. A hey, lot of lap traffic coming up. All right, just gonna get busy here. If you're looking for the broadcast, it's in the description of the stream as well as it should be a pinned comment in the chat. All right, I'll just try to navigate them nice and nice and easy. These two are fighting in front of me too. You know, they're having their own race. It's not it's not like a Formula One race where the lap traffic needs to get out of the way, right? It's, they're having a battle, and uh, it's my job to get around them clean, you know. They shouldn't make it difficult for me, but I also have to respect that they're having a race. Ooh, a yellow flag. Ooh, a car spun to the inside there. I don't think that's for position. I'm not oh, sure. that's a position. Oh, it is. Very aggressive on that. I was going to defend a bit, but he decided he was going to go in there. Well, that's a shame for Vajant. Oh, Erwan. Yeah, they crash, yeah. Yeah, only just now got it going. was able to get around me and all that. And uh, now I'm gonna try to stay with him. Yeah, Donut was able to get in front of me, but we'll see what I can do here. I'm not gonna do anything too wild. Yeah, I wasn't looking. <laughs> Just when I don't look. <laughs> oh, that's difficult. just happened. <laughs> a ghost car. Whoa, that was so scary. Did he pop behind us? Is that who he is behind us? I think so, yeah. Oh my god, what, what timing on that? Jeez. <laughs> oh no, it's not the same. Not the same car. Or is it? Really weird. Uh, 
Oh yeah, they teleported right behind us. <laughs> Donat had jumped on the brakes a bit early and I got a little sideways too. Yeah, well held. Yeah, luckily. <laughs> got through that. Giving a lot of pressure to Dunn out here. I think I, I mean, in a slipstream, really makes you feel like you're always faster than the car in front. But I was able to stay in front of him for many laps, so I feel like I might be a little quicker. Oh, everyone is retired. I think they might be out for real. Uh, we got our first retirement. Ervan left the session. Even in the slipstream here, I'm still 96, 97 oil. Yeah. We got a good run. Oh, that's just the stuff. That's really interesting. I think we hit. Just a bit, it's fine. It's not really my way of doing things, but I'm surprised, I don't know, maybe I should have backed out. Got a little damage on the right front. Light, light blue. Yeah. Nah, doesn't matter. A little wide there. We're good. awkward this time. We're, we're kind of draft locked with each other at the moment, so. Oh, man. This is a bit much for me right now. Yeah.
I don't know much about him, so I don't know if I can like hound him and get him to make a mistake or what. Yeah, we'll see. I think we're dra fight, draft locked right now. I mean, yeah, I don't. Yeah, I, I feel. I mean, I guess I'm always gonna say I feel like I'm quicker, but I do feel like I'm a little bit quicker generally. up the inside. Well, I guess you all wanted to see some battle and so here we are. Fighting for 8th position right now. Uh, he locked up the... Trying not to overhit the rear tires. little battle nonetheless. Catching another slower car. It doesn't seem super slow though, so it's going to be a bit awkward. He's just much harder on the brakes than I am, but I could be wearing out his tires more. Oh, he slid a bit there. Slid a bit there. see him sliding a lot. Yeah. It's a good sign so like, that you are as fast without using up the tires. Yeah, I'm still 97, 99, 97, 98. Right. Pretty much on target. Stay on target. Yeah, we don't really need to save that much fuel. I mean, it's kind of an awkward pit strategy, this race, as it is. We're going to have, like, half a stint at the end. So wide. Ah, I mean, he's racing hard, and, you know, you're allowed to do that. Good on him. If he can race super aggressive and be in front of me, I mean, he's winning. <laughs> so, can't really knock somebody for being in front. Gary, I'm glad somebody got it. Yeah, I mean, he's definitely done a nice race so far. Um, just gonna stay concentrated here and not, not lose him. Keep the pressure on. A little over halfway through the stint. Yeah. Do you think we should undercut him and close the radiator? Oh boy. 
Let's see how bad the flat spots are. It says, oh, okay, I think I'm good. That was that was majorly bad on mine, and good on watching on his side to knock yeah. that in. Yeah, that's fine. All right, big mistake there. Um, I was actually thinking a little bit, like maybe we should undercut. Yeah, could be. Can you look at that? Uh, that's actually not out of date now. Um, can you do 3.6 times 100? Or I guess I can do that. That's 360. So we've used... Uh, we got 55 liters of fuel left. We started with 114. So whatever that is, we just need to make sure that we can pit twice more after this and still... Uh, you know, we have 228 more liters we can put in after this pit stop, so we need to make sure the math works out on that. Yeah. That'll tell us when we can pit. I think we should be good at this point. I think we only needed to run like 13 laps to be in the pit window. I feel, uh, let me go for a few more at least. Yeah, lap 20 could be. Yeah, fun. I agree. Alright, we'll try not to make more mistakes like that. That was really bad. He did a great job at avoiding me. We're gonna try to undercut a bit. Give the uh, car to Ascari here. That really killed my tires though. We're down to 95% on the left front. Yellow flag. Take it a little easier here. Ooh, a car out wide. It's Martin. No, that's by again. It's off into the gravel there. So that's the position. Another position. Up to eighth now. One car in the pits. I see one car in the pits right now. Can you just keep an eye on the pits once we get close to that lap? Yeah. Uh, I'll go get ready first, so I'll be right back. Sounds good. He's got to, like, get his super special gloves on or something, I don't know. <laughs> I will admit, it is nice to be able to hand the car over to somebody. I've been driving, you gotta remember guys, I've been driving full qualifying session before this too. A little bit of practice this morning, so this is not, you know, I didn't start off fresh right at the start of this. So it'll be nice to hand the car to Ascari for an hour or so and, and let him, he hasn't really driven much today, so let him be able to actually go and and uh, see what he can do. I know he's so fast, and uh, I hope I hope the car still feels good to him with the tires after that lockup. But still no real damage or anything to speak about, all in all. Would love to have not blown a chicane, but could have been a lot worse. I'm so happy Donut got out of my way. He saw me coming. I do need to get prepped with pit stop though. So we're gonna we're gonna close up the radiator one click, and that's gonna give us a lot more top speed. It's pretty wild how much it actually does. And um, we won't change tires, we'll put a hundred. Oh, make less retired. Nicholas. Alright, we're up to seventh then. There are also some drivers in this race that are not doing driver swaps, and so fatigue may truly become a thing for for everybody, you know? Are you you getting prepared? Yeah, I am now riding on board. Yep, I see it. So the tires are fine. Yeah, there's no rattling or anything. There's 95 on the left front. 
I, I don't think I did lock him up, but not super bad. Yeah. to Ascari here in the pits. Still gonna go a couple more laps until we do it. I'm pulling it back in a bit. Good job. I don't think you're going to have any issue getting around him. Yeah, especially if he stops late. Should be fine. Just, uh, uh, you know what to do, but feel the grip. Yeah, cheers. Yeah, I haven't driven in a couple of hours. I have to take it easy. Yeah, yeah just, you know, the, it seems like people in general are breaking pretty early for stuff, so... I lost the job. Just double check that I have the correct setup. Yeah, I'm gonna do two more laps. Hit at the end of uh, lap 20. Yeah. And I've got an adjusted radiator to three, and I've, uh, oh, it selected back to me because he left, but I'll put you on again. Once you're uh, back in. Yeah, I'm back in here. Is it trying to fix damage? Nope, nothing. Good. Good call, yeah. Do we want to go through the checklist? Yeah. So, request a bit after start finish. Choose driver, choose tires, choose damage, and don't hit other cars in the pit. Yes, that's right. And I need to remember to not cross the pit exit line. put that in because the cars in our factor 2 are physical in the pit lane like many other sims the cars phase right it's not true in our factor 2 yeah, one more lap all right we do we do have Martin Bayer about four seconds behind me at this point no idea where we'll come out in traffic Missed the chicane in front. Oh, that's a couple of seconds. Yeah. Alright, so we're gonna be, I mean, we're gonna be kind of squaring off the stints here, so you need to try to get as close as you can to halfway. Yeah. I should be able to. I'm gonna request request the stop here.
says, crew is ready. Good job getting them moving. <laughs> Hear the cars go by in the oval above. Ah. All right, a little bit shorter first stint. I made one big mistake. Otherwise, uh, luckily we didn't get any damage. So everything else has been good in this so far. A little slow, but we'll see what Oscari can do here. As he's going to pick up the car and try to go as far as he can, probably 29 laps or so, to get us close to halfway into the race. And uh, and then I'll take over again. And of course, I'm not going to go anywhere. We'll watch it. <laughs> we'll watch it all. All right, come to the pits, just be nice and careful. Clean pit lane. There's no limit, but we do gotta make sure we get stopped. All right, 32 seconds, you'll take over. It says you're gonna get control. This seems to be working. Fingers crossed. Are you in car? Yes. Godspeed, feel the grip. Thanks. All right, Ascari's going to take over for me here, and we'll watch him. It's always tough to jump in a car that's you know been running a while. We got he's keeping the same tires that I did, and uh, there he goes. All right. Now, unfortunately, I really wish I could have. Uh, like kept all that HUD on and stuff. It doesn't work uh, when we when we change cars. Like I can't really have any sort of uh, stuff happening. So we'll keep that on for you. That will take off. Yeah, even with the oops, I guess, right? Uh, you do get some of the information at the bottom of the screen. So you can see that we're 10th out of 25 right now. Um, you know, the race is 20 out of 100 laps in. Uh, I'm not sure Ascari has a YouTube channel. He just does this, you know, for fun. Um, I know him from doing the HRRC League originally, and then he's just kind of hung around and, and been a great, great person to just chat with. And he's super fast, though. We'll see. He's going to instantly obliterate my lap times. How's she feeling? Quite a lot of grip, actually. Just, uh, the turn one doesn't have the 300, so just be careful with that. Not sure. Yeah, I've, um, I know, I was touching it a little bit. I've done some work, uh, on the, the calibration to help with it. So, hopefully it's not as, uh... I'm not feeling like I'm pushing the car into the braking zone quite as much, but I probably was doing that in qualifying a little bit. It's still something I gotta work on. I'm drinking, a lot of folks have asked me what I was drinking. So this is, I don't know if this is something that's available everywhere. It's called Liquid Death. It's just water. Uh, it's just uh, sparkling water. It's pretty cheap here, so I just sometimes pick that up to, uh, to drink. It's nice to drink something that's not, uh, you know, got flavor in it or something, but a little, I don't know, still water sometimes just isn't, isn't right. Man, there's so many people here. What the heck? <laughs> Thank you all for, for being here today. I hope it's been fun so far. And uh, I'm so happy to get through that first stint. You know, pretty clean. A couple mistakes, but nothing. Luckily, I didn't. I, I thought I was going to hit Donut when I overshot the uh, chicane, but massive props to Donut for seeing me coming and knowing that I was going to blow it and waiting to turn in. Yeah, this one doesn't have any flavor, but. I don't get, I don't drink it very much, but I really like it when I'm doing something like this. It just helps. Especially, like. I don't know if any of you all have ever done five hours of live streaming and talking at the same time, but you need like you need something that helps just keep your mouth going. Yeah, you know I I'm so happy that Nico has has kind of dove in and, and started to do these things. This is like I was saying kind of earlier on. Like this is so much work to do. It, it feels like all you had to do was 
you know, tell us all to be here, but there's so much planning, you're constantly having to troubleshoot everybody's problems. I can't get the mod working, I can't get the liveries running, I can't, you know, what, for some reason when I joined the server something's broken. I had issues as well, like, I, I wasn't seeing the cockpit gauges when I was taking over the car after driver swaps, like, you know, you feel responsible for all that stuff organizing an event like this, so, um, it is thankless, <laughs> it is thankless work, he's losing money doing this, it is expensive to rent servers and get uh, you know, broadcasts and all that stuff, so... Yeah, it's definitely a labor of love, and I really thank thank Nico for, for it. Alright, we come across the line, let's see what he did. 251. Remember, he's on full fuel and stuff too, so... Yeah, I mean... They did a uh, Targo Florio last fall, or over the summer, and uh, I originally signed up for it, but I had I had a conflict that day and I couldn't do it. Uh, Ascari and I were supposed to do that originally, and so hopefully they continue to do these because I mean they're clearly very well planned and attended and competitive as heck. It's been going well so far. So we're sitting in. If you're if you're just getting in, Ascari Canton and my teammate is driving. I just finished the, my first stint, 20 laps. I had one mistake during it, but luckily no damage or anything. Um, we were fighting for 8th place for most of it. Oh, but uh, Yeah, just take your time. Just going to try to negotiate with some slower cars. Well done. Yeah, he already jumped into the 51s. I, I, I assume Cantonin's going to be down in the 50s. So, Scarry's taken over. He's going to try to get as far as he can into the race, close to halfway. We'll probably be a couple laps shy of 50 laps in. And I'll take over again for another stint and uh, try to get us another 25 laps or so and then, and then, uh, and then give it back to him for the finish. So, we're splitting it 50-50. And uh, it's so much fun so far. I'm so happy that we... Uh, I'm so happy that the start has gone, you know, as well as it has. Sorry to blow out all your ears. I just want to see the outside for a minute. You're all doing the uh, spotter, yeah. What view do you guys like? Do you like the in car or do you like the, the view like this? can actually jump out for a minute and see uh, see the whole leaderboard. So it looks like Fran Frank is leading right now. Remember, there's still pit stops and stuff happening, so it's tough to uh, tough to know. Yerne Simicic in second. He's quite far back, 24 seconds off. Jackson, driving the same car we are, is up in third place. He's doing really well. Doing very well. Devin Brown, who passed me towards the beginning of the race, sitting in fourth position, and then fifth, Nicole Ramos, who we were we had seen a couple times. I think uh, I think we we were close to him at a few parts, uh, places during the race, parts of the race. Uh, Donat is sitting in sixth position. That's where we were fighting. So, on strategy, if everything cycles out, we should be you know around sixth position. But we'll see. Uh, Martin Bear is sitting in seventh. Maximilian Rodua, I think you would say it like, is uh, sitting in eighth. Larry Salmanen is in ninth, and then we're sitting tenth. But we just pit, so we got to, uh, you know, we got to, got to make sure we we get through this whole cycle. Everybody should start pitting here. I would imagine a lot of folks are going to start pitting now. Ricardo Mendez behind. It looks like Tom D is leading the uh, second class, 1.6 liter cars, two liter cars. But Darren right on him. Oh, this is a good battle. Look at these two. Oh, for 
some reason I can't click that. There we go. These two are fighting for the win in the two-liter class right now. I'm sure the broadcast is all over this. There is a, a full broadcast for this if you look at the uh, pinned comment or in the description of my stream if you want to see it. But, oh. We'll see. We'll watch him come down to uh, Parabolica. Oops. You all right? Yeah. What happened? Clip the chicane cab. Should be all right. All right, we'll go back to Scary. <laughs> I'm worried now. I'll ask him how the oil's doing here on the on the straight. Gonna pass the porker here. How's the oil doing with the new ra radiator? Let's see at the end of the stretch. Yeah, also, don't let me distract you. Just feel free to not respond if I ask you something at a bad time. Alright. So it's now 106. 106? Yeah. Careful. It's a perfect amount. leave you all with Iskari for a minute. I'm going to jump away for a sec and uh, get some more coffee because it's still morning time here. I'm just going to let him know once he gets through this, this corner. I'm going to jump away for a second. All right. All right. I'll see you all in a minute. Scary scaring all of us. I can see the comments. I'm back. Welcome back.
chance telling me there might have been a scary moment there. Yeah, I have maybe the left car on the banking. In Boston, Dunkin' Donuts is the close, like it's, there's one every five feet, it feels like. The closest one to me is, is very close. It's not far away. But no, I did not walk to Dunkin's. I have coffee in the house. Got some cars in the pits as well. I think we're still in 10th right now. And I guess I could put on some telemetry as well down here. So you can see, yeah. So we're on lap 25 or quarter distance. We made it to quarter distance in the race. Which is always good. You know, to, to do well in an endurance race, you have to have the endurance part, so. It's a very fast car in front of us. It's kind of an awkward speed. We're ninth now. Oh yeah, we're up to ninth. I can see it at the bottom. All right, should be able to get past. On no, I don't want to go low. <laughs> yeah, it does get pretty, pretty uh, alive down on the low side. Yeah, I went to Canada, <laughs> Oakley Doakley, I went to Canada, uh, to Montreal and Quebec City back at the end of the summer and got my Timmy's. It's basically the same thing. I will say Timmy's seems a little nicer than Duncan's. And as a as a New Englander, that's tough for me to say, but I found, I found the assortment of things there. But you all drink your coffee quite a bit different than we do. Uh, most folks here just drink it black. I drink black coffee most of the time, so... It was surprising to me how much sugar and milk and stuff's in it there, but it, ta it tastes good. It's just, you know, maybe not so good for you. So we're back up to eighth now. Oh, uh, Franex left. Oh no! The leader. Man. That's... I wonder if he had a crash. Interesting. I'm just looking at the official broadcast, too, to see... Save, we'll save question and answer with Iskari after he's done his stint. <laughs> I don't want to distract him. He's doing really well right now. His lap times are good. He's uh, he's so fast. And we're in fourth now somehow. So P4? P4, man. Keep going. Just in case you're thinking of stopping, just keep going. <laughs> oh, apparently their car overheated in the pits. Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing with the 50s cars. We had to shut them off when we were in the pits, so that must be something they didn't test. We have to also watch out for that now. You can shut it off when it's in the pits, too. Yeah, but it would be sensible to take the in-lap really carefully. Yeah. Yeah, agreed. And then uh, feel free to shut it off, because I've got buttons I can turn it back on. Yeah. We'll only lose a second. Yeah, excellent. absolutely. I can talk about whatever I want because I'm not driving. 
This is nice. I never get to just chat while I do stream because I'm always driving. How is everybody doing? I hope you're all doing well today. It's um, a very nice day. It's been a nice few days. So many people have really loved the uh, Assetto Corsa video I did, and uh, it, feels, it just feels really nice to be able to do those things. N nonetheless, just, you know, be able to play with those cars early, but also have the access to do that. I mean, it's just very, very nice, all of it. I'm having a great end of the year this year. It seems like just thing after thing is going really well on my side. So I hope, I hope all of you as well are having, having a good end of your year. It's been a rough few years out there in the world. Driving the 93 cars around Road America. That's a good shout. I've been I've been playing entirely too much Automobilista 2 lately. Um, just like that's anytime I can and, and I've had to do I've had to do a few other things like the RBR stuff and then practicing for this and like this is so much fun. But I've been torn because I just want to fool around with Automobilista 2 some more, so. Apparently he didn't blow it in the pits, he, he blew it leaving over Revit. Oh. But still, I think it's a good idea that we play it cautious. Yeah. Am I still planning to do the AMS2 live season? So here's the deal. I've been testing to make sure, so I gotta make sure like the full season of tracks works well enough that we don't get to a race and it's just silly town. And uh, uh, a couple of the tracks are not working super well. So I'm waiting, I'm waiting, you know, for things to get fixed. I think I probably will do some more either videos or live streams Ooh. with Automobilista too. Yeah, watch that bump. <laughs> 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 um. Yeah, I'm definitely going to do some more racing with Automobilista 2, whether that's... Well, it's probably be AI races and stuff, uh, whether it's videos or live streams. But I don't think I can commit to a full a full season yet because a few of the tracks aren't working well enough. It's just going to be... We'll get to the track and it'll just kind of ruin the whole thing. So uh, I, I have faith that they're going to fix a couple of the issues and it'll just keep getting better. Yeah, if you're just joining in, we're doing an endurance race, 1,000 kilometers. It's a 100-lap race, and my teammate, Ascari, is driving now. I did the first 20 laps of the race, and uh, he's taken over, and he's on lap 8 of his run. Uh, he's up to, we're up to fourth position overall. And we can look real quick at what the gap is to the car ahead. Looks like Donut is quite far up. I don't think he's pit yet. They should have to pit any lap now, and it looks like... I'd be curious to see where we come out between Devin and, and Dunat. So we'll have to see uh, we'll have to see how it all how it all shakes out. This is what it's all about though. And uh, then I'm gonna have to get back in the car. We're around halfway, so we're on lap uh, 28 now, so probably 48 lap 48 or so, I'll get back in and then try to get it to um, Try to get it to at least lap 75 and then give it back to Ascari for the finish. So we've got, we're only about a third into the race, uh, not even. So we've got a long ways to go. Yeah, Tony, with AMS2, it's just some of the tracks, the cars don't do so well passing each other is the main part. Um, I haven't run into too many issues with the actual AI speed, which is good, at least with the cars I'm using, but like Monaco specifically. <laughs> Uh, it turns into some major accidents quite frequently, and uh, so hopefully that stuff can get sorted. I, I don't want to do a full, you know, offline championship and have some races just be write-offs or have to use weird tracks to, you know, for everything. Especially something like Monaco, I feel like that has to work well. Yeah, we've got a bonnet cam in the 1960s. Look at that. How are we doing on the temps? 103. Okay. It went uh, at 107 when I was in the slipstream of a lot of... Okay. 
Just be careful with it. So I think we're going to cycle out to be battling for second once the next guy pits. Um, so just and maybe about 10 seconds behind second place. So just play cool. Yeah, the cart stuff is fun too. I don't know. We'll we'll see. I I I have so much fun in that game that I'm definitely gonna be playing it. So I'll find something to do. I usually just like I don't really plan YouTube stuff so much. I usually just try to do make videos about whatever I'm fooling around with. So um, if I'm playing Automobilista 2, that's when you'll see me playing Automobilista 2. <laughs> uh, but I do I do want to get back to the IndyCar Racing 2 season. Um, try to do another one of those soon and then and then yes i would love to get back to the richie axelson stuff but um i don't know i just haven't been feeling it lately i'll be honest with you so similar thing like i just don't want to make videos about stuff that i'm not feeling in the moment i know i'll get back to it eventually i always come back to grand prix legends so don't worry <laughs> it will come back at some point i just uh i've been having fun with so many other things right now that that's why that's why i haven't done one Yeah, Skyri, some at some point, I think I want to exit out and reload the sim just to make sure it doesn't crash on me. Um, there's no issues with that, right? I could just spectate again? I have no idea. <laughs> Maybe I need to ask someone who knows. Okay. I'll ask somebody else. It shouldn't be, but this is I have to, so... to see. I, I think I'm able to exit and then rejoin uh, because that's, I think, what generally people are supposed to do. I'm just worried. We had that one crash in practice when I joined the car, so it seems like at least I'm able to jump in the car, you know, one time. So I'm hoping that uh, I could exit and reload it and then be in a good spot. So we're in third position right now, up on the podium. Oh, wow. People take tires or what? I think a car DNF'd uh, Donut that we were chasing that I was battling uh, with has DNF'd for uh, being out of fuel, maybe? Oh no. Gonna keep out of the dirt here. The response I got from Nico is he thinks I can exit and join back. Mm, same here. <laughs> I wonder if, I don't know. I'm just worried that I'm gonna join, like try to take over from you and it's gonna crash for some reason. Mm-hmm. Which would be bad. Although, I don't know if you'd be able to keep driving. Yeah, good question. Alright, guys. It looks like Jackson is leading the way. I think they still got a pit. Are we fighting him? So, I think Jackson, uh, the car in front of you, no. That is Ricardo Mendez. He's back in ninth. He's a five-liter car, though. That's why he's so fast. Oh, he let me have it. I know, Hayes. I can make... I have coffee and a stream. It's so nice. Oh, thank you, Punch of Waterfall. Gotta leave. Thank you for the wonderful work. It's, it's hardly work. 
You always manage to make historic racing moments sound so romantic. <laughs> well, thanks. There's a lot of romance in, in older motorsport, I think. I appreciate the super chat. Thank you. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of romance in historic motorsport. I think I might stay in the sim and just hope it works. Seems reasonable. I've never, never had a crash while I'm driving. It's only like when getting in the car. Yeah. Jatsu contribution and races done. Mirage is no pace. They're holding steady. That's it's being clean is what it's all about. You're gonna pick up a lot of spots probably just from various incidents and things. I think that's what's happening to us a bit. Yeah, brake fade is something I've been thinking about, but I don't know. Uh, don't know how to work out. Skari doing another 251.4. He's about a second and a half faster than me per lap. <laughs> Ways to make yourself feel irrelevant. Uh, yeah. I don't know what I do for a living, but consider riding. Ha! I enjoy writing, it's just how do you make how do you make money at that, you know? Yeah, there's always the question of failures, right? Like should we get random mechanical failures and punctures and things and in my opinion, this is a hundred percent like this is an opinion thing, right? My opinion is that there are enough other things that can go wrong with your internet, with computers crashing, with R Factor two being R Factor two that removing actual random mechanical failures is a good idea. The ones where you're driving effects, like if you lock up a tire and you get flat spots, or you blow your engine from revving too high or running it too hot, I think those should stay in so that it controls how people realistically drive. But any sort of purely random failures, I'm not a big fan of because they there's so many other factors in everything that goes on with this that it just, you know, it, I think it adds those as being the random mechanical failures, in my opinion. But I can see why. I know a lot of folks, uh, some of the leagues I've raced with do true random mechanical failures, and that's just their decision on it. I'm not going to tell people that it's wrong, because it is more accurate. For offline racing, I quite like those, especially if you're doing a full season, because then it, it adds that dynamic element to things. Feeling good? Yeah, great. Yeah, you're doing really good laps. Starting to get into rhythm. Jackson in front of you is doing some uh, 251s, but a lot of 252s as well, so... I think just keep it and keep it going. All right. We're 15 seconds behind. Oh. And that's that's the battle per second. And then Devin Brown is up in the lead, 20 seconds up the road from Jackson. So a bit, a bit too far. Yeah. I'm still being really careful in the braking zones. Keep doing what you're doing. We're catching them. And I think they still gotta do a driver swap here soon. Oh, big, big hold up here. It's alright. Not the end of the world. <laughs> IndyCar racing to half shaft, yeah. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's always, I mean, it is gutting when you are driving along and, like, your internet drops or you lose power or your computer crashes. And that, that to me, makes up the difference in the mechanical failures thing. Um, that's my that's my opinion on it, though. I don't, I mean, I can see both sides of it. So we're battling, battling with Jackson and Liam for second position overall in this race. And the leader is another 20 seconds up the road from Jackson, so a bit far, but we'll see how things progress over this stint. And then when I get back in the car, if I can have some semblance of this pace. Oh, there's Ooh, a car off in the... I'll take a look. Car off in the Parabolica. Yeah, it was Jackson. That was Jackson. Oh, uh, no. Yeah. All right, we're up into second now. All right, so it looks like Jackson overcooked it, maybe. Oh boy, good decision. I don't know what's happened there. Yeah, it's fine. No, I did. I did it worse, so don't worry. <laughs> Did you get any damage on the front? Feels fun. No, no extra damage. Tires are keeping together really well. You think we can triple stint them? I think so, yeah. Okay. Uh, I mean, it, if we want to change them, we should change in the middle stop. Yeah, I agree. Just, yeah, if we don't change them now, then we're kind of committing to doing the rest of the race with them. It's 91 on the left front. Yeah, I mean, let me look at the leaderboard. Yeah, we're only just a few seconds ahead of Jackson and them, so. I think we should try to do it. Yeah. They don't blow, right? Like, do you know what uh, no. percentage they blow at? Uh, we're on track for 70% wear at the end of the race, so it should be fine. Or 60, 70. 70 because it's, yeah, 33 laps. 10% in 33 laps. We're in the lead. All right, so we we are now in the lead somehow. Timote has just taken over. I'm going to tell him that in a second, um, which is going to make things. I like things to hear really that. Good. Yeah, Andonovsky just took over for the leader, so. Oh. <laughs> I'll keep an eye on some lap times and stuff. So just, you're doing perfect, so just just keep it up. Are they two stopping? If they made it this far, then yes. Oh, interesting. I think Jackson and Co. might be as well. Yeah, it's crazy. You can run a thousand kilometers on one set of tires. I don't know if that's true to life, but he 
Here we are. Yeah, as long as you don't lock them up a bunch, I did once really bad. Um, as long as you don't do that much, they'll last a very long time. But it will be a lot slipperier, slipperier for me. And we might have to pit as soon as possible to give the, the car back to Ascari towards the end of the race so that he can do this crazy stuff because he's so fast. Should be another 15 laps or so before I'm going to jump back in the car. We're on lap 34 of 100 right now. And uh, leading the way somehow. Ascari's doing some magic here. A couple DNFs from some other cars have helped, of course. It's, it's not, they're not super out of touch, the Champs and, uh, and Martin, but top five at least is still within 30 seconds. Yeah, it's Oscari. I I have a tough time pronouncing his name, but the joke is he's the uh, Oscari Alberto Oscari Cantonin. <laughs> Top five are within thirty seconds, but beyond that, it's pretty far. Yeah. need to be sorry. Yep, Oscari Cantonen is our teammate here, doing a wonderful job so far. Really, really putting in good times. We're going to check in a minute to see what uh, Endonovsky behind us is doing for times, because he's very quick. There's a few like professional esports drivers in this race, um, and Timotei is one of them. Looks like Ascari's going to space this to get him on the exit, which is smart. Smart, smart, smart. It's good, good pacing there. Cheers. Yeah. If, if any of you guys were here when we did our Targa Florio for the HRRC, Ascari's the one that did that crazy battle with... Mm, yellow. I see some smoke at the very end of the straight. Uh. I think that's Larry? Uh, seems so. to see Timothy's time here. It's 57. It's not very good. I mean, I'm sure he's in traffic. <laughs> I don't mean that it's not very good. Yeah, I could shift it to uh, stay in fourth before this, the double Lesmos there, but it just revs higher. I'm just worried about overheating and stuff. a very mint colored car uh, I'm a little nervous now that we're actually leading the race I think Donut rejoined the race I'm not sure what happened <laughs> I thought oh maybe it's gonna pit. Yeah, me too. Oh, 
It's just great. Sim race streaming while drinking coffee and just relaxing. <laughs> doesn't get much better than this. I always look forward to the weekends because it's typically when I'll do some actual, you know, big, bigger races and stuff. Yeah, Jimmy's got his uh, charity stream today, and I know I'm going to be tuning into that after after we're done here. I, I wanted to do that originally, or at least, like, do a stint in it at some point, but it, uh, because of this, just didn't really work out this year. But that that is a really good event, and just a great thing in general that uh, you can get that many folks together to raise some money so check that out I'll go watch some of the different streams after yeah the chaparral definitely would, would struggle a bit in low speed corners just it's very uh, it's a very like awkward balance I think Sam was in here earlier talking about like the center of gravity is quite high because of the wing, so it, it does it does make it tricky around some of the tighter corners. I know, Billy. I think about stuff like that all the time too. Like, imagine this actually happened. What we're watching here right now, although it's a, a bit different in ways, but you know, this was a real race <laughs> that uh, very similar versions to these cars. Um, oof, a bit deep there. Well held. That's just. Very similar versions to these cars took to this track back in the day. You're pulling away from Jackson just a little bit, um, and uh, Martin Bayer is catching up to him. We got about 10 seconds, battle for second, so we'll see. you an update i don't know what's i haven't watched his laps but uh timothy has done 257s for his first two laps wow so it might, might be traffic and stuff i'd imagine oh uh, yeah but you've gained like 10 seconds on him since he came out of the pits Scarry's on lap 36. I expect at least 10 more laps before he's going to pit. Um, but, you know, i got to be ready to go <laughs> before then. to uh, tighten up too much here sitting in the rig for this long. What sim rigs are viewers here using? Well, I'm not a viewer, but um, I guess I'm viewing Viscari right now. Uh, mine's a next level racing GT track. GT track, I think. It's the, the name. so much rubber at Corva Grande now that you can retake any line. Yeah. It's the GT track cockpit. I really like it. Um, I've had it now for about a year and a half, and really no issues at all. Uh, it's not a. It's not a. Um, what do they call it? That tubing. You know, it's a kind of a proprietary. It's just you know, I've had not really any issues mounting things, but um, it's not always super straightforward to get stuff that isn't. A wheel mount, like the wheels, very easy. The pedals are very easy, but like my button box and stream deck, learned. I had to come up with ways to mount them. But otherwise, 
We are in the lead right now. It's been a mix of three things, I think. Ascari is really fast. That's the most important thing. Uh, but there's been a few DNFs and then pit strategy. I think some, some cars are going for a two-stopper rather than a three-stopper. Um, so it's going to be interesting how it all, you know, we're potentially doing an extra pit stop compared to some cars. So I don't know how that's going to work out, but we're going to stick to our strategy here and I'm hoping that because we're also trading off drivers that Ascari and I will be a bit fresher than maybe some of the other cars that are either doing single driver or only swapping once. It's a long time to drive this track for, you know, three hours at a time, so. But yeah, we're up to 15 seconds. Looks like David is, uh, He's actually up to third now. Tenete is falling off a bit. I'll tell Ascari here in a minute. Look, I'll, I've said it like a hundred times before, but I had as much fun sim racing with my G27 on a desk, which I did for like 10 years as I've had with a rig. Like, a rig is very nice, but it is a luxury. And I think as you, if you do get higher end equipment, having a rig is, is kind of necessary because of how much pressure it takes to do the brakes and the force feedback and all of that. But I had just as much fun with my G27 on a desk. It's just, uh, it's just been very nice to be able to upgrade like this. So David is up to third now in the Chaparral. He got around there and he's trying to chase down Jackson. All right. Ah, uh, Rajasu, I, I saw that. I saw you guys blow up. I'm sorry to see it. I don't know if it was a mistake or just bad luck, but... Sorry you guys couldn't get to the end. How many newton meters do I use for my wheel? So I have the, my wheelbase is the CSL DD, and I have the upgrade kit, so the, what, the eight newton meter? I run it pretty light. I've never liked heavy force feedback. Um, I just wanted to, I just want to feel it a little bit to help me tell what the car's doing, but I, I run pretty light. So I don't know what I run it at, but I'm sure it's much less than eight. Um, it's a little heavier than I used to have it with the G27, for sure, but. It's, I, I'm not a force feedback guy that's like, well, I want to have huge arms because I do this thing all the time. <laughs> yeah, I drove, I mean, for years, I mean, I drove with a keyboard way back in the 90, early 90s, and then I drove with a joystick for a while, and then I finally got a wheel at some point, and I had a Logitech Momo, and then the uh, G27 for years, up until like 2021. Yeah, there's a little bit of jittering. I think it's just the internet. Uh, you know, we're watching Ascari who's racing from Finland <laughs> right now, so I think it hopefully is fine. Do I have a favorite sim racing game? I, I like all of them. I like so. If you look back through my videos, I rarely do a video on the same game or a stream on the same game more than once, at, you know, in a row because I'm just always j jumping around. So RBR and Grand Prix Legends and AMS2 and R Factor 2 and sometimes some iRacing and um, I know I'm missing a few. I said Corsa, of course. A lot of times to me, it's it is what I'm doing in it which determines what's best, you know. So for some big online race like this, I, I do think R Factor 2, um, especially for historic cars, has a bit of an edge over some of the other games. But you could do this in a set of course, uh, I think, and have a pretty good time. <laughs> yeah, Spirit of Speed, that's my favorite one. That game's rough. I kind of want to revisit that. Maybe like a Christmas, just fun stream, play some Spirit of Speed.
Yeah, to Tojin, that is a great point. And, and kind of what I'm saying about having a rig for like higher powered stuff. I, I, I had kind of the same problem when I first upgraded my wheel that because I was still trying to desk mount it, it wasn't as fun as with the G27. So it's, it kind of, you have to match, in my opinion, you got to match a little bit what your setup is versus the equipment you have. I can almost get it to lap 50. All right, no need to, we could pit a lap earlier. We might as well, I don't want to wait to the very last lap because if somebody's in the pit lane or something, so. Yeah, I agree, yeah, but um, like semi-close, pretty good. Yeah, well, we'll plan on lap like 48 or 49, does that sound right? Yeah. just shows that we have nothing to worry about if I could stretch this. It's 11.9 laps now. It looks like Bear and, and David are bad, like side by side basically, and they're about six seconds behind Jackson. You've got 22 seconds ahead. Ooh. So, let's just be consistent and safe. That's yeah, weird, because I feel so slow. I think we've got one one extra pit stop compared to those guys, but I think yeah. that means we're going to be about maybe 20 seconds behind when we come out. And so, it, it'll be interesting. Yeah, because they need to fuel more anyway than we, we, can, do, we do. We'll calculate the final fuel stop to try to do as short as possible. truck racing yeah i would like to i always think like oh i should do some truck simulator because i play that once in a while but it just never i don't know the, the timing never seems right <laughs> been daily drive the thousand lakes yeah uh i've been sliding down the order for the thousand lakes let me i don't even want to look Oh, thank you, Panzer. I have no idea what 20,000 IDR is, but thank you so much. What kind of shoes? So I just wear some sneakers. I have racing shoes. I bought some Sparco shoes, and I, my idea was like, oh, I'll have them for sim racing, and then if I go karting or something, I'll also have them. Um, but they're kind of a pain to get on and off. This is very much me being lazy. So I would wear them for, like, streams and stuff, but... Only 105 degrees this lap. So the little bit of lifting really helps with the oil temp. Good. Yeah, I think we'll keep three on the radiator. Um, so I would like put my racing shoes on for streams and stuff, but if I was just sitting in my rig, like having fun, I would wear like slippers. I agree, slippers. yeah. And so the issue would be that I'd never wear the racing shoes and I wouldn't break them in or I'd feel uncomfortable in them. So um, I just ended up getting a cheap pair of sneakers. I think the Pumas I have here were like the cheapest sneakers that were still nice that I could find at the time. And uh, I've just been wearing these because they're super easy to get on and off. So I always wear them. Like every time I'm sitting in the rig, I wear them. So um, it just makes sure I feel as comfortable as, I mean, these are what I always wear when I sim race. So I feel comfortable wearing them basically. Comfort is everything, I think. Currently P11. I was actually looking at that when uh, when I got distracted there. P11 overall. I had some pretty big. Uh, I was very lucky, let's say, in parts of that last weekend. But yeah, this is this is why I needed to do the the whole rally last weekend because there's no way I was going to do it this weekend at all. Yeah, I agree. Low Tires cells still are, are on great. 90 and 91 on the left side. Gonna have to call you uh, Feather, Featherweight Cantonin or something. Not uh, not wearing them at all. <laughs> yeah, I'll bring them back to you just like you gave it to me. Yeah, good. I can ruin them some more. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm 11th overall. It looks like I'm maybe 4th in class for the rally. Ah, I was hoping I could maybe get a podium, but I don't really... I feel like some of the crashes I had were took me out of contention of a podium. So 
I think it's safe to say we are not taking tires if it goes like this. Yeah, I say we try. Not because we're gonna... I think because we have to take the extra pit stop that it would really hurt us to take tires. We would, yeah. lose. We would end up being about fifth place right now. Fourth place. Um, Davi just took over second place from Jackson. He's 24 seconds behind you. He's, he's fast. Two minute 50 second laps. Nice. All right, I'm going to step away for a minute again um, just yep. to get ready and, and stuff. All right, guys. I will be back here in a minute. And, uh, and I'll take over for my second stint. Oh, boy. What didn't we see? What didn't we see? Alright, I'm back. Can you get Nico to remove my drive through, please? Uh, I'll try it. Messaged him. Yes, I uh, cut the first chick and I thought I overtook Martin. Alright, just, just keep it nice and steady. He said yes, he'll remove it. Yeah, it's gone. Yeah, perfect. I'm gonna uh, jump in as passenger here. Yeah. I, I am on board with you now. It has gone well so far, hasn't it? Oh boy. I should probably put my wheel on, huh? I have selected you. Alright, we still have a few laps. But really, uh, let me look at what we would need to do.
I'm still gonna go a bit further. Do you want the full tank or just 100 liters? Uh, just put 100. I think it'll probably fill it up depending on how much fuel you have left. Yeah. Actually, put put as much as we can in because um, we'll figure out how much fuel we need to do on the last stop to save as much time as possible. But that just gives us the most options. Done. Right. Yeah, technically, you could come in anytime, but just keep it a few more laps if you can. No problem. It's so easy. He's the perfect teammate. He has no problem with anything. He's just good. He's doing a great job. He's very fast. Tires on 89 and 90 now. 10 4. Hey, Mad Dog. It's going well. We are leading the race. We've got to make two more pit stops, though, and we think some of the cars that we're racing only have to do one. I'm just about to take over for my uh, second stint. Um, and I'll be driving at least 20 laps. I'll be driving at least 20 laps uh, to get us closer to the end before I'll hand it back to Ascari here, my teammate, to uh, finish the race. So uh, things are going really well. And uh, yeah, we'll just have to see how it all works out. Yeah, I'll remember to put the stream on. It doesn't, I mean, I'll put it on now, but it doesn't, uh, it doesn't really work while, while he's driving. as you can see. <laughs> Back for now. Yeah, they ran these chicanes at least from... I don't know what year they started. I don't know if somebody in the chat knows, but I think it's 66 through 69 before they moved off the oval altogether. <laughs> yeah, water temp's good. So we got that uh, liquid cooling now. Like we're on lap 43 right now. So it should be another five laps or so before he comes in. Yeah, he might be coasting more than me. I don't know. We definitely have very different driving styles, and uh, I think his is faster. <laughs> so I could do well to learn something from him, but um, I'm not going to try to change it up now. I, I got to do what I'm doing. I am Derek Bell and he is Belloff. Okay. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. <laughs> but damn, if, if Derek Bell wasn't consistent, right? Yeah, the reason <clears throat> the reason the temperature and stuff is not visible is is really to just 
protect, like, cheating or... Depending on the cars and stuff, you may not want the driver who's watching to be able to see every little thing and stuff, so... Only the driver can... can view that stuff. It keeps it a little more realistic. Pass this, uh, this mantra here. Over under. <laughs> David is catching, but he's still 18 seconds behind you. Nice. I know, I am sweating a bit. I don't know if you can tell, I'm a bit, I'm not, I'm anxious. It's not really nervous, right? It's just, you know, I want to, once I do a lap, I'll feel better. Just want to get out there, though, and feel the car again and make sure I remember how to drive. I'm mostly concerned that, you know, making sure everything works, that it doesn't crash on me or something, which would, which would really be a bummer, but we will take, take it as it comes. I saw some major skid marks into the first Lesmo there. broken car here. I think they hit the wall in the first Lesmo. Oh, damn. I don't know. I saw some major skid marks. Weaving his way nicely through the traffic. I'm on the broadcast, high broadcast. I don't know if I'm physically on it. It's going well for us so far. Uh, I don't know how this is going to work out. Really, like. It's all going to come down to the strategy. If, if we don't make a mistake at some point, you know, it's, it's just going to come down to, was it right for us to do a three-stopper? I feel confident that it's the best strategy for our car and for us. Uh, if not only because of the drive time, but it, we would have had to save quite a lot of fuel driving, which would have been hard, I think. Oh, the car. <laughs> Hi, Mom. Hello to my mom back home. What, is, what did Scott Pruitt always say? Oh, a big fire in the pit lane. Oh no. I didn't see I was checking my pit menu. Yeah. Yeah, so we're definitely in the pit window now. I don't know how many more laps you feel like doing. I mean, I'm, whatever you want, really. Can you figure out what uh, where we are going to end up if we pit now? Um, no, I don't. I mean, I think we'll be in, like, fifth position. But clear fifth? Tough to say. I don't think there's a lot of groups of cars, so... Yeah, okay. How much fuel do you have right now? Five laps. Five laps, okay. Yeah, go as far as, as you want. I mean, the further you go now, the less we have to fill it at the end. You know, yeah. depending on how far I go. <laughs> Maybe two laps. 
Yeah, sounds good. I'm, I'm ready to go. Can you go through the checklist? Yes. Yeah, we'll wait for the fire to d dissipate in the pit lane. Oh, yeah. Good call, Mighty Mavs. Alright, so, did you choose the driver? Yes. Tires, no damage. Yeah. Uh, don't hit cars in the pit, and then request after the start finish. Alright, so I'll go by one more time and then... Perfect. I do have a slight bit of repairable damage, it seems, but I put it to do not repair because it's not affecting anything. Okay. Yeah, the banking was really high on this track. Something not a lot of folks know is that it was actually rebuilt in 1955. The original banking was, was actually much less uh, back in the 1930s and everything. And uh, Monza as a whole was rebuilt in 1955, or thereabouts, 54, 55. And they, they wanted the fastest track in the world. And so that's why they, they really built the banking up. Yeah, I'd love to visit Monza. I've actually been to uh, the area one time, but I wasn't able to get to the racetrack on that trip. But I've been to um, uh, Milan one time. Should I box now? This uh, I haven't requested it, though. There's a battle up front. Yeah, I mean, I'm ready, but do what you need to do. Let's see if he comes in this lap or not. Remember, cars are solid in the pits. So coming in now. Okay. All right, we're going to take over here. For my final stint, we've got... We've got um, quite a ways to go. Still less than halfway into the race here. Alright, I gain control in and 30 seconds. And the car's off, that should be. Alright. Oh no, it's not. Oh, it is. Did you hit the ignition or just the starter? Ignition. I can ignite it back up. There yeah, we go. Put it, yeah, put it back on, okay. Alright. Alright, guys. Final stint. Good luck. Thanks, sir. Whew. Final stint for There's me. There's a gaggle of cars coming up, but you're, you're well ahead. It feels so weird to drive. Oh boy. I feel so strange. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I've just been sitting in the rig for an hour not driving, so I'm like having to press pedals now. <laughs> Alright, we are in third position now, and we're not far behind second.
I got half a point for that. Nicest right here. Half a point for what? Oh, uh, the cut, I cut a chicane. Ah, oh, chicane, yeah. Oh, it's I'm in the replay, yeah. I only saw it now. Everybody saying good job. Yay, thanks. You're right, the line is so wide through Curva Grande. How's it feeling? Feels good. Didn't give you a flat spot coming into pits. No, nope. and I didn't get one cut in the chicane, so we're good. <laughs> yeah. Like you got any damage from that? Yeah, it was a it's hard hit. so slow right now. Yeah, I felt so too. <laughs> I, I'm hoping it comes to me in a couple laps. 17 ahead of Jackson. Right. Oh, he's behind us? Yeah. Okay. Bio in front by 11 and David in front by 40. It's so weird how much grip there is now. Yeah, I have to get used to it. I'm just hoping it only takes me a lap or two. Yeah, it's better better than th that there's more than less grip. Second Lesmo feels like a corner at the Indianapolis 500. It's like so <laughs> fast. Yeah. Just going the wrong way.
that. I'm gonna grab a bite, I'll be right back. Sure thing. He deserves a bite, I'll let him have that. He did so well. Ascari is such a good teammate to have. I feel like uh, it's like all on me just to make sure I don't let us down. Because he definitely has the pace and the, and the consistency and the knowledge to win something like this. But it's... Um, it's great fun. I think he's having a good time with it, too. It's tough to find good teammates, you know. It's, uh... Ooh, that was a little sketch. I thought he might let me sweep low on the exit. I don't know, I shouldn't have done that, but... It is what it is. Alright, that's a 255. I gotta, I gotta do better than that. John D has left the race. Weren't they leading? I think at one point. Yeah, that's one thing that really has caught me out. Is the switch from the cockpit or the bonnet cam to the cockpit? It just feels so weird. I'm getting used to it again. But I think that's what felt so weird on the outlap is that the FOV is completely different than what I was just watching for an hour. Two water temp. Just gotta watch that water temp a bit more than I did in my first stint because we've got the radiator shut a little bit more, but it should be alright. 107 is the, the magic number we want to stay below. stop doing that. Even if it doesn't hurt the car, it's still very uncomfortable to do. Should be able to get this Porsche in front of me before, before the corner. He's just wagging around a little bit. here he's a lighter it's a lighter car with the lesser engine so that's makes it a bit easier to slow down multi-class racing at its best Sun's getting a bit lower. I'm getting a little windshield glare. How's the oil temp? 105 right now. Perfect.
tell me what kind of lap times Jackson's doing when you get a chance? Fifth three is I feel like I haven't seen Liam in their car at all. Sam. Oh, you passed Martin. He went into the pit. In second place then. skill that's what I'm all about those pure skill overtakes he must have pit or something so I think we're both on one stop to go leader and us it's just gonna be a question of how long the stop is yeah Halfway, halfway through the race, sitting in second spot. The leaders 56 seconds up the road, but they've got to stop. We got to stop as well. Our pit stop will likely be much shorter than theirs. And so, yeah, it's all going to come down to that, I think. And how, how much time can I, can I keep, can I make sure he doesn't run away too much further so that once Oscari gets back in the car, that he has a shot at it. That's really going to be the question. That might be the leader going by right there. Not sure. The slowest lap is a 5.11 and ours is a 3.39 or something. So it's quite a big difference. Okay. For, you're saying the leader? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, they're going to have to take like a full tank, right? And uh, we, we're going to need to do some calcs. Burning just under 3.6 liters a lap, and so how many That's laps good. to go do we have? Mm. 48, right? Yeah, 48. So if you do 47 times 3.6, can you tell me what that is?
That's 169, ladies. For the rest of the race. Then subtract 94 from that. Sorry? If you subtract 94 from 169. 75.2. It was 169.2. That's, that's how much we need. How should we go 80? Yeah, do, do you have any idea what your fuel per lap was? Mine seems to be around 3.6, it's actually a little less. Yeah, 3.7 I think. Oh, 3.6. Something like that. A bit over. 3.6. Okay. Yeah, so I mean, 80 liters is probably good. We can do the math again in, in a few laps to see if it's changed much. David is in the pits. Changing tires. Yeah, is gonna be just in front. The other way we could do things here is to give you the car right at the last possible spot that you could make it to the end so that you can do the most laps because you're definitely quicker than me. Yeah, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that as well. Probably about 28 laps to go, 29 laps to go. Yeah. Should take it easy. Don't want to cut it too short though. Don't want to cut it too close, I mean. If you do 114 divided by 3.7, let's say, what does that give you? It's over 30 laps. Yeah, so that's, I mean, you should yeah. be able to do about 30. Yeah. yeah. that there's rubber there now. Almost messed up the braking there. <laughs> it was very, very eerily similar close to the accident I had at Monza. Whoa. Don't do it again, Jake. Nice and steady. For some reason I can see our pit. Yeah, me too. Weird. It's, it's because the game auto requests a bit when... Uh, because it calculates that we can only do like 17 laps per tank. So it auto requests the 34 laps and so far. Oh, so Yerne took over for W, right? Yeah, he's not pulling that much. I don't. Are they going to be able to make it to the end from here? I don't think so. Oh, no, no way. All right, so we're both on one more stop to go. So I just got to try to keep that gap as close as I can. Keep, keep the tires in good shape.
Sit at 86 left front. Nice. Well, it's Yerne and me again. For folks that were around last last fall when I did the HRRC, that's, that's who I battled for the championship. And uh, I mean, I really think it was because they didn't attend all the races. Technically, they attended enough to do a full points. But uh, I had a few more shots than he did at doing well. And uh, so that's, that's why I think I won. But he is so quick. And I'm going to do my best here to just stick with him as close as I can so that Ascari has a shot at it. And it's going to be a classic Ascari Yerne showdown at the very end of the race, I think. Assuming I can hold on. Sitting just about equal distance from Jackson in your name, right in the middle. Feel so slow into this first chicane. <clears throat> Feel so slow into that chicane. Yeah, I can feel you. <laughs> yeah, because I'm very slow. <laughs> no, <laughs> I felt exactly the same every time, and then sometimes I, even then I went wide. Yeah, I mean I'm not. I think I'm losing Yurnay just a little, but not by much. Yeah, surprisingly little. Surprisingly, do you hear him? I think this Ascari guy is out to get me. The car is definitely a little bit more alive on the old tires. Mm, yeah. Let's see what this lap is. 254. Ugh, I'm so slow. Sorry, it's more important to just get there, but. Yeah, and I had a big moment in the Curva Grande. Charging the parabolic, I get tons of understeer there. I think 
figure and he's gonna get stuck up behind whoever this is. Maybe, maybe not. Might have been just far enough apart. Crazy how it all adds up though. If we hadn't missed one of the chicanes or something, we'd be so much closer, maybe within slipstreaming distance. So Jackson's catching at about half a second a lap. I mean, I'm trying to push a little bit, but keep it safe, you know? Yeah, yeah. Do you feel good enough to do like a 28 er at the end? Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Listen to this guy. Yeah, I'm just doing 54s and 52s alternatively. <laughs> yeah, I seem to be stuck in the 54s, but... Whoa. Wow. That was an M, was it? No, it's the other one. interesting that like I lit him up coming onto the oval but it didn't actually slow me down much yeah it's but funny it would wear the tires out too much yeah if you keep it doing it too if you, if you do it once they won't heat up as much good job was that good that was important to get in front of him there Jackson is not that far behind me. I'm gonna do my best to make sure he doesn't catch up so he can get a slipstream, because then it's really, <laughs> really over from a. Uh, well, he's, he's fast today. I, I definitely can't keep up with Jackson today. Or Yerne, for that matter. It was a 53 8, though, so better time that time. I'm starting to burn out some of the fuel, so we'll get a little bit better. so well through the second Lesmo.
Oh yeah, we're just racing. Slowing down a bit too early for the parabolic. Huh? Martin Bear's up on me, but he's a lap down. I think Bear's a lap down behind me, I, I think, yeah. Correct. Try not to read the chat, but like, what's the point of live streaming if if I'm not reading the chat? I hope Martin just waits for the front stretch here. Luckily, there's a lot of straights here where you can kind of do that. Is he gonna is he gonna go for it or what? One of those awkward things where he is definitely faster but he's also a lap down so he doesn't want to impede my race so i'm just going to focus forward if he jumps up the inside at some point we'll just let him go and hopefully i can get the stream off of him or something a little wide there Jackson might have fallen back a little bit. I'm not sure. Peanut gallery. Is that what they call it these days? Big slide there coming into the corner. It's sliding a lot in the Parabolica entry right now. Uh oh. Oh, watch out for bye. Yeah, I've been watching him. He's just kind of hanging out. Oh, okay. Coming up to 40 yeah, laps. They pull to go. out of his slipstream. Yeah, I'm at 105. Oh, okay. Keep an eye on it. 106.
Yeah, Jackson is not super far behind. He's gained, he's gaining about a half a second a lap, it seems. Just trying to keep it safe. It's the car is getting pretty slidey on these old tires. We haven't changed tires in the race, and I don't think we're going to. I got to run at least at least another like dozen laps before I can hand it back to Ascari. car up here, like one of the Porsches. Just hop there, don't really want to do that. Had to lift. Had to lift there to be safe. Yeah. What's the tire situation? Eighty-five on the left front. I think I think you'll be good. I mean, it's a little yeah, slick, good, but yeah. uh, and that's. I was just thinking. I'm I'm hoping maybe the Chaparral has to pit for tires in the final final stop, but we'll see. Wind it out of the parabolica. Just trying to be ultra consistent with my braking markers, and I, I think I'm being a little conservative, but I'm just really concentrated on trying to stay stay clean here, be good to the tires, and uh, give Ascari the best car I can give him right at the end. We got at least another 10 laps till I pit. All's well so far. I missed the chicanes once, but otherwise it's been it's been decent thus far. I'm just a little slow. I wish I was like a second faster, don't we all? <laughs> but I, it's too late in the game to like change something drastic right now. I just gotta stick to what I'm doing, and uh, we'll see how how it works out. I know I can get around the track safely at this speed, so just take it where I can get it.
see Jackson behind me. Missed the braking there a little bit. Got company. <laughs> Excited. I, really, I really wish I was like a second a lap faster than this. I mean, don't we all? But yeah, it's more important to keep the tires a lap. Maybe it's that. I don't know. I just can't really get above like the 43 or 53s. Could be the tires. I'll tell myself that just to make myself feel better that the tires are super worn. That's why I'm so slow. I mean, if they all take tires on the final stop and stuff, though, that's really going to give us an advantage. So we'll see. God. <laughs> he is. This is a race for second place. Jackson's behind. I'm assuming we both got one more pit stop and stuff, but I would do well to stay ahead of him here. He's caught me from about 10 seconds, so he's clearly clearly got some speed on me. He's gonna have the slipstream now too. Lock him up just a little bit, got it. Thought that wasn't gonna get slow enough. breaking the law. Well, I will be the one breaking the law if I do that. He's got a good toe. Well, that was scary. Oh boy. <laughs> Seems like these two, Bruno and Martin, made a had a coming together there. God, he got me so good there. I'm so slow. Into the first chicane. There's chicanes overall. I'm just not, not fast enough. I gotta watch. I gotta watch the water temps here. Yeah. Oil well, temps. Uh, yeah. The big number. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. 
little bit hot there, Mix Mr. Jackson. Yeah. I'm stay right on him. I'm, I mean, this is the fight. I need to do as good as I can here. There's no more. Oh, we'll get it back later. We only got one pit stop left. I'm not going to throw the car away, but just watching my temps here. I'm riding the water temp, or the oil temp, whatever one it is. It's a front stretch there is it when it's at its worst. It's like, where do you pass here? Because it's instantly another overtaking opportunity. Look at back to you. Overheating. I'm right on the temp. Yeah, well managed. Slippy slidey. Yeah, he's faster than me, so I mean, I do agree. It's just I'm worried about overheating because I'm already overheating or I'm right on the on the number. better for me to be out front just because I didn't have to worry about the air as much. Yeah, I was 107 there like immediately as I got on the bank. And yeah, it's all right. You held well. This is why we took the bigger radiator at the start, because we thought it would be a lot more of this. It's got spread out super fast off the line, so it probably would have been better for us to run this setup the whole time, but what can you do? Try to stay with him though. Make sure he knows we're there. If I'm with him, I have faith that Oscari could uh, could do something. He's very quick. Yeah, I could lift a little bit. It's tough. I mean, it's just the stuff that's tough to practice because finding Meanwhile, somebody else. Meanwhile, you had a nice gun to the horizon. It's 23 now. 23 seconds ahead. Yeah. He was just taking his time to get used to the car, I see. My goal now is to just try to stick with Jackson so I can give you something to fight with. Yeah, how's the tires? The 84 on the left front. That's so still good. Yeah, I think they're good.
Wow. Good job. Was full like 360 on the wheel. Yeah. Hey, Kringle, thanks. <laughs> thanks for gifting a membership to somebody. I hope your uh, I hope your thousand links is going well. I'm doing a different thousand today. We got about seven laps before I'm gonna pit and give the car to Ascari. And let him round this thing out. So I'm just trying to stick with Jackson in front as close as I can, but he is pulling away. I had a massive moment through that first chicane. But so far, I mean, it's been a decent race so far. I really can't be too upset here. Just hoping we can end strong. Definitely, I mean, we're absolutely in it for the podium. Whether or not we can get that second step or not, yet to be seen. Sim Runky, uh-oh. Definitely starting to feel tired. I did, remember, I did like all the qualifying as well. There's a lot of driving today. So happy to, I'm happy to hand the car over to Ascari a bit early at the end because I know he's quick and he's a bit more fresh than I am and uh, will give us the best shot at a good result. Just trying to get through the rest of my part here. Two thirds done. Two thirds of the way. Yeah, I'm excited to watch back the broadcast. It's always fun to be in a race when there's a broadcast. on the low side. This is the worst place to catch somebody. I feel like I always do this. Dang, I was like eight tenths up on that lap. Uh. Still my best lap this stint though. <laughs> ah, good, good. Five. Yeah, whenever. So I've got, I mean, should I fill it up, do you think? Probably. Yeah. Yeah, it's probably just, just to be safe. And, uh, 
Ch uncheck the damage. Yeah, I'll set it up here in a minute. I'll go get the ready. Here, run away, scare you away from the keyboard. Uh, put it in second for some reason. We don't need that. Yeah, my fuel use is uh, pretty good, but it's so tough to calculate it perfectly, and it's better to be a little safe than run out with a lap to go or start to have to save because you're going to run out. So we're just going to fill it, whack it full. We're going to take the same tires, and uh, hopefully that hopefully that leaves us in a good spot. see Jackson thankfully so we'll see if, if Ascari is able to do anything about it with the undercut I assume we're gonna pit before them Do not repair, please. We're riding with whatever damage we got till the end. Unless unless I make it worse, which that's the main goal right now. We don't have much damage. Probably just a little bit from whacking the curbs and that one tap with uh, one of the other cars early on that I made. I think Ascari has hit the uh, curbs a couple times as well, so... No major accidents as of yet. Thank God. So we tried our best to have one, though. Oh my God, did I really do that? Oh, it's bent. God dang it. I had so many opportunities to save that, and I just tried to keep it fast. Uh, it's bent. It's definitely bent. Let's see how it feels here. down on speed too. Literally as I'm saying that I haven't damaged the car yet, I actually damage it. Wandering in a straight line a little bit. The question's going to be do we fix it or uh, let it drive like this to the end? You alright? I bent it a bit, unfortunately. Oh. Uh, I'm sure it's I fine. I hit the wall through the first slice of my well. This is. It's up to you, so you can see on my stream maybe that my steering is a little off center. Uh, not that very little. I mean, it feels substantial, but yeah, maybe not very. It definitely is wandering in a straight line a little bit. Nico to clear a drive through. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it, it is definitely messed up, man. Yeah, we'll repair it then. What do you want to, what kind of repairs should we do? Just the uh, mechanical? I, know, I don't know. 
guess we'll have to do repair all. I'm just worried it's yeah. going to kill our time. Yeah, it's, it's fine. We're on for a good third anyway. Everything else just a plus. Do I need tires as well then? It might not be as slow as you think, the repair. It's hard to say. All right, I, I didn't know if you heard me about the penalty too. Yeah, I'm on it. It's definitely still drivable. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you think because the gap is big enough behind us that you know, pitting, uh, fixing it would be better, then I'll do that. Yeah, let's fix it. All right, it was a decent hit. I, I just, I had like so many opportunities to catch it too. I'm, I'm good, I'm good that I did that. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah, yeah we're gonna repair it. Uh, I'm just really upset. I did that thing where I could have avoided having an accident, but instead I tried to go fast. And so instead of, you know, just taking, losing time, I hit the wall, basically. It's, it was a really silly decision for me to make, but I gotta live with it. Unfortunately, that kind of ends that battle with Jackson, and hopefully we can keep our third Uh, yeah, it does suck. What can you do, though? Hopefully the pit stop isn't extremely long, but it, it could be, uh, could be long. Just keep my head in it here. All right, they removed it. That's good. Feels very weird going through the bank in like that. I wish we knew how long it takes to repair. I know. I mean, it's definitely drivable, but it is uncomfortable to drive. Yeah, I don't want that. <laughs> yeah. No need to toss it into the walls. I've already tried that and it's not fun. <laughs> yeah. No need to carry the damage. I mean, no need to risk it. We're in such a good position. How far back is fourth? Just so shows one lap. Maybe on, uh, maybe on the official stream. Hundred and thirty-nine seconds. Almost did it again there. Are you riding with me yet? I don't think he's riding with me yet, so I can't select him until he's... I haven't gotten that. There he is. No, I am. Everyone on my stream is getting nervous because I haven't selected you yet. But I, I got a... Two more laps. Yeah. Oh, let's go with the chaperone. Runa's having a heck of a time, I think. Yeah. Yeah, that doesn't look fun. The car right now? Yeah. Yeah. It's a little... I mean, it's my fault. <laughs> Look yeah. at my mistakes. Fine.
I'm so torn between taking tires and not. Up to you, man. I mean, I think we'll still come out ahead, right? Yeah. Unless it's like a 300 second repair. Yeah, exactly, yeah. So maybe we should take the tires and take the hit. Uh, in case it's... In case it's like a 150 second repair. So then it's... Stupid not to take the tires. Try not to give you rain tires here. <laughs> All right. Do you want to go through the checklist? I got one more lap. So this lap. In. Or up to you. I mean, I was gonna do one more, but I could come in. Yeah, here. do one more. So we don't request pit yet. But next next time we crush the crush the start finish. And you have chosen the driver, and the tires, yep. and the damage. Damage is on repair all, yeah. Yeah. There's no mechanical only, it's just all body or none. So, yeah, I don't really care problem. about the body, but... Yeah, same <laughs> here. Ah oh, man, I'm sorry I hit the wall, but I think we'll be able to finish still on the podium if, uh, if this doesn't take too long. Yeah, it'll be good. building. I don't know. Feels like hell. I'm sure it would feel worse in real life though, so at least we're thankful for that. Cross your fingers, everybody, that the pit repair is not an extremely long one. Sometimes they can be like like five minutes, which would really, really kill things, but we won't know until the crew looks at it, and uh, we have to live with whatever it is. It feels rough. All right, I'm gonna request it this time. Yeah. Well, you have had it requested for like 10 laps already, but maybe it's a I'll, good uh, idea to. Yeah, I'll do it off and on. Like, yeah. Okay. Just in case this is the lap they decide he's not coming in. There we go. The 100 liter is gonna make it. I think it's gonna add that to the. I'll, I'll put it all the way. Just a bit, yeah. Can we do just the left side, guys? Sorry for so late call, you can drop one more left. No, we're good, I'm coming in. I 
I've got it set. So I'm coming in. Is that good? Yeah. Cross your fingers, guys. 104 seconds. All right, 104 second damage. Great. So we saved six seconds by not taking the right set, test. Right, and I shut the car off. Good, good. I'll hit the ignition again, so you just have the starter, right? All right. Do you want me to start it right before it ends? Yeah, sure. Okay, so good you idea, can yeah. just floor it. Yeah. All right, so it's basically the length of a normal pit stop, and you'll have left side tires, and you'll have a fixed car, full fuel. Excellent. And you got to go 28 laps. I think you'll be fine on fuel. Yeah, 29 uh, and a half. Definitely right. feel it out, because I think they fix everything, but if they don't, it is weird. Yeah. 29 and a half laps, isn't it? It's 71.5 now. 28 and a half, sorry. Yeah, 28 and a half. Yeah. Yeah, you should be fine. I think we'll get about 30 on a tank. Agreed. Man, I'm, I'm bummed. I, I'm happy it's not as long, but yeah, I just had a tank slapper through the first Lesmo, and I did the thing, I'm sure you've done this, where I tried to save it and go fast instead of just save it and... Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, I probably could have just spun the car and been fine, and that would have been way better, but I... Yeah, uh, true. I, I would have gotten away with just the tires. Yeah, but it is what it is. Right, live, and, right. live and learn, right? Yeah, I'm just glad I didn't yet <laughs> been it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't worry, I mean, it's it, I totally... Anything that happens, happens. Don't worry about it. All right, yeah. let's start the car. Are you ready? Yeah. Go give him help. Well, it's not bent. Good news. Okay, so you are in third place still. I'll Here take we got left. Uh, I'm, I'll take a look in just a second. Yeah. Ah, all right. Yeah, that wasn't. It was not the stint I wanted, right? But unfortunately. Fortunately, getting the, the little wreck there, but Ascari's going to give it his best. He's got a brand new car, essentially. It's all fixed. The guys were able to straighten out the suspension, and uh, we will see. We'll see how it goes. I think that is your name in front of us. If I was to guess. Cold tires too. All right, we will exit out of this. Hopefully things don't crash. So. All right, Liam's just coming out of the pits, taking the place of Jackson. All right. Uh, and Yerne is in front of you, so we are one lap down. Martin Bayer is behind us. He is not far. He's just coming up to Curva Grande. It's fun that I don't have to care about the tires now. Yeah, just uh, you know, we're in we're in line for a podium, so definitely don't break the engine. But do do what you need to. Well, I think overall I feel pretty good. It just it stinks to get a little crash like that to a sour the feeling of everything. But I think overall I, I drove pretty well in this. So we'll see if Ascari here can... I know he can do wonders. 
but we'll see how he does for the end of the race. He looks like he's actually catching Yerne, so he might be able to get us unlapped, which will ultimately be pretty good. Ooh, car in front runs a little wide there. Yeah, I mean, so the thing is, Yerne probably has to pit again, but obviously, <laughs> obviously we're not going to make up a whole lap under the pits unless they have some sort of big issue. So uh, I really think we're, we're battling for maybe second, but I think um, somehow, somehow our friends Liam and, and Jackson have really pulled ahead. They're so far ahead right now. And I think they should be able to make it to the end, I'd imagine, but we'll see. Yeah, possibly there could be some to the end. I don't know. I appreciate you all sticking through the whole thing. It's a long, lot of stream, long stream. Five and a half hours. Probably a little less than an hour left total. It ain't over till it's over. That's right. Ascari's keeping up with Yerne here, though. He's still gonna have to pit. But, you know, do what you do. Yeah, I'm trying to catch Liam. He's far ahead. I've taken 10 seconds already. Okay. That's that's Iskari saying, don't don't bother me, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I just hope that the other map is soon. At least you can get the toe, right? Yeah, but I don't wanna. Oh, I don't want the. <laughs> yeah. That that chaparral seems like such a such a a hog to get through the corners. Yeah, Yerne, Yerne still needs to pit. Um, we're a lap down right now. There's the leader. We're in third place. Let me check on Martin behind us. Yerne, or, uh, Ascari is saying that he's catching Liam. Yeah, we definitely... I mean, Martin is not that far behind. So that we might have to think about him soon. Careful if you see a black car coming up behind, it's Martin. Copy. It does feel great. I always say that uh, R Factor 2, especially with these mods, and somebody, actually somebody said this to me the other day, and, and I really believe it, that a lot of the sims are, are only good when you're driving certain cars. Like, good mods or good add-ons or good cars in sims like each one has good cars and they have a lot of bad cars too. This mod, the 1950s mod, it is some of my favorite driving cars in, in all of sim racing. They just feel so connected and um, you know I don't love every car in our factor too and there's certainly some good ones in other sims but I, it, they feel really nice to drive.
Yeah, it was a combination. I, I had a little bit of a wall hit, we'll call it, in the Lesmos here. And so we repaired some damage because the searing was off-centered a little bit. Uh, we didn't lose that much time. It was about the length of a normal tire change pit stop, uh, which is encouraging. But Yurne was able to get around us here. Ascari is right on Yurne right now. I might, might go for something. we got a slow car ahead, though. We'll take a look real quick at Martin behind. I'm sure he's coming. He's coming through Ascari right now, so... I'm, I'm not sure if he... He probably also has to pit. Uh, tough luck. He's gonna have to pit very soon. Yeah, I don't want to pass him. Yeah, he would he would be right back around you on the oval. Yeah. Just watch the temp. Cheers. There's no classic 24. I don't know if there is one, but there may be more of them. Uh, it would be, I mean, this really opens the door to doing some truly long events. Uh, oh boy. The porker. I imagine they're gonna pit pretty soon. They pit pretty much when we did last time, so... Yeah. Right there. Yeah, Yannick, you should join us. Absolutely. If you, I don't know. Do you, do you do our factor too? But uh, sign up for this was open really to all. I think they had a few like requirements for folks that they haven't seen race before. Um, you know, just to make sure everybody knows reasonably what they're doing. Uh, but it's definitely not meant to be this event where it's only the esports. You know, it could be really anybody as long as you can be safe. And I know Yannick, you can. <laughs> I know you're very, you're much quicker than I am, so. Stint waiting for oh, that's Liam. Oh, yeah, that's he's far ahead. Keep on it. So that's Liam just passed in the in the red car there, passing the orange car. So we have to try to catch him. We have to go around the whole oval to try to catch up. That's quite the distance. But that's second place. We're third place. We'll check in on old Martin behind us. He's not far behind. He's just coming through that chicane we went through. Yeah, Ascari is using way less engine braking. It's I've, I've noticed that. I mean, that's that's uh, that's one of the cool things about having a teammate is is learning from them because we shared everything with each other. He shared a you know Ascari shared a video with me to show me his exact shifting points and braking points and all that uh, setups. Obviously, we've shared with each other and all of that knowledge. So I learned I've learned a lot doing this. You know, you guys know me. I'm not like a super competitive like need to do all these events so this this to me has been one of the yeah, most yeah I picked up the pace yeah he has <laughs> definitely Martin's not super far behind you either ah uh, interesting 
I think he's also going to have to pit though, so don't worry too much. But it's nice of Yarnay to make, uh, like, get a move on. Um, you know, you guys know me. I'm not, I'm not like this guy that's trying to do competitive esports style racing all the time. So this has been a big learning experience for me, and uh, I enjoyed it. I've enjoyed it. I don't want to start doing this all the time, but a couple, a couple times a year would be great, especially if I get teammates like this. And Jackson, I saw you in here. Yeah, it was a good race with you. You definitely, you've been much quicker than me all day today, and. Uh, done a really stellar job. You were so fast off the line, too. I took it very easy from the first stint. And you, you were just on it immediately. It's tough to do that. Sorry, I'm going to uh, just grab some water. I'll be back in a minute. Yep. All right, guys. I will be back in just a second. Do we have a close call? I'm back, bud. Yeah, it's not worth it to push. No, I'm seeing the chat. It seems like every time I come back, they're like, oh my god. <laughs> I mean, definitely. Let's make sure we keep that podium. Um, yeah, I was just Martin. trying to. Fit. Yeah. What were we saying? I was just looking. Martin's actually in the pits now, so yeah, we should be good on him. I don't think Liam's gonna have to pit, but he is mm, far same. away. 
He just he just went through Curva Grande. Yeah, and he's he's doing good lap times. He is, yeah. Yeah, he's doing 50, 55s, 54s. Just head down. You're doing you're doing really well. But I definitely think preserve. Yeah, I don't think three seconds a lap is enough. No way. Yeah, I think just keep your pace and then, you know, if things happen, you're, you're going to need something to happen anyway, so. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, John. John, Josh. Josh, Josh. I don't know about mainstream. I mean, it's, I hope some of this stuff is opening the eyes to the sim racing world and uh, that there is a lot of different things that you can do. But I think everybody's known that for a long time. It is so cool to have such a good group of folks uh, doing this race together, though. As you've seen today, like everybody in this race is very good. This is not a not a pickup race at all. Yeah, old cars definitely intimidate people, but just like I was talking earlier in the stream today about how I struggle driving a lot of the new stuff because I never do it. So the more you do it, oh, that goes here, yeah, you're an in the pits, yeah. The more you do it, the, obviously you learn like a lot of these non-downforce older cars drive the same, or they have very similar driving qualities. So once you do, you know, practice one a bit, the next one's not so hard. It's the same thing with a lot of modern cars too. If I really wanted to sit down and learn how to drive like a modern prototype. Once I figured out how to do that, I would be much quicker in all the other ones. So it's just learning learning the little tricks that you know get you get you around safely in these cars. It is very different though than driving a lot of modern cars. But I love it. I mean it's just this is my what I enjoy, this type of car. No little to no downforce a lot of horsepower, H pattern. Just, yeah, it's just fun. Fun to drive. Really feels like you're doing something, you know? Okay, you're just 70 seconds behind. Now you're telling me to push. <laughs> no. I, I think even if we didn't have the crap... I mean, it's tough to, to tell how close we would have been, but it would have been still like a 20-second gap or something. Yeah. So you, could call it, you could call it pure driving. I don't know. I, like, I do see folks on both sides of the fence. Like, there has to be a fence, but let's pretend there is a fence for a second. I see people on both sides get really, like defensive or say that the other one is bad like there's a lot of fun in some of the modern cars especially if you really like understanding like how how to control all the different electronics and some of these modern prototypes and stuff and all the different engine modes and how to use them to your advantage to save fuel and all the data and telemetry that you can get uh, there's a ton of depth to that and so you know maybe your thing isn't steering with a formula room and paddle shifting but I think there's plenty of there that if that's what you enjoy then then do that thing so i don't know i never see the reason to have these like two sides one is better than the other it's just different and i really enjoy when folks like yurne yurne who was just leading the race went into the pits or he's still leading he he mostly does modern stuff you know very fast prototype racing and stuff and to see him do this it's cool to me 
there's no reason though to like think one is better. I mean, you you can have your preferences, but like if somebody enjoys something, then that's all you know. That's what we're all looking for, right? Just something something that we enjoy. I think if you can find what you enjoy, then then uh, you know that's good. It's like a lift and coast there a little bit. Let's see. So, oh, David took back over. So David just took back over for uh, for your net. All right. Marvio, I couldn't tell you if it's more depth than the driving. I, I really can't drive those cars very well. <laughs> so I'm sure somebody that does a lot of that would probably say that there's a ton of depth to the driving. You have to be like millimeter accurate on the braking and the turning and accelerating to, to get the most out of it. I find, and possibly because I'm not as, as good as like some of those really, really top drivers, but with the older cars, there is a bit of a, more of a margin to, uh, you know, the, it seems like everything has a little bit more of a margin where you can get away with a bit more. So you don't need to be like ultra precise each time. But, uh, I'm not really an expert in driving a lot of the modern cars, so I, I don't know all of the nuances. <laughs> you all so 20 good. laps to go, 122 laps of fuel. Excellent. You're doing great. How's the temps? 106. Right on the line. I'm going to do ALMS. Yeah, I really like Doc Trench. I really like watching lower down force stuff too, especially like in real life. Just because you see the car move around a lot more. Um, it just feels... But if you know what you're watching in a modern car... Like, I watch a lot of modern IndyCar. That's it's kind of the... I mean, I watch a lot of everything these days, but IndyCar especially. And I mean, those cars are very planted, but, you know, once you really tune in and know how they usually move, then... Uh, You got an ad for you got an ad for liquid death are they monetizing my stream without me knowing you shouldn't be getting ads during the stream unless you I guess unless you left I don't I don't tend to show ads in the middle I don't know why you would have gotten an ad No idea. No idea. <laughs> What's that scene in Wayne's World where they're like, I would never sell out. How would it be a sellout to corporate sponsorship, man, while he's like holding a bag of Doritos? Uh, did I get well they're not actually not actually sponsoring me or anything so if they want to sponsor me then maybe I'll turn the can around guys <laughs> all right coming across the line here so we're starting the 82nd lap we got 18 laps to go. We are about 60 seconds. We've gained another 10 seconds, but 60 seconds behind Liam. He's, he's doing a great job up there. Sitting in second spot. David is on the oval. He's coming at the sec second chicane there, so we're not really in danger of going another lap down. Martin is also on the oval, so I think we're pretty solidly in, uh, in third. I think we're pretty solidly in third position. 
right now, and it's it's a matter of really bringing it home. And just if we get an opportunity, then stay on it. So I just take a look at everything. So uh, David and Martin are pretty far back on the oval, so no no danger going to lap down. Uh, and and Liam in front, it's, it's about 60 seconds now. So you are pulling him, but obviously it's quite a ways. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be wearing a liquid death cap. No. I don't know. Look. After a certain point, you get you get emails and stuff all the time. Like if I wanted to throw a mobile app ads at you every video, I could do that. But like you know, that's not my thing. So, if the right thing ever came along, and it made sense, then I will never say never, but I, I really don't think it's going to happen. Don't worry. <laughs> it would have to make a lot of sense and be and be very worth it. GT Legends is great. I love the career mode in that game. It's so, it's like, feels like it would be so easy for these games to make career modes, because the career mode in GT Legends is pretty basic. It's just series. But it's just nice to have that type of structure to it, you know? We definitely have all the cars for GT Legends, too. I mean, if you look at all the Baza stuff, the AC Legends packs with the G GT cars, as well as the touring cars, and now the World Sports cars, then, I mean, there is plenty of cars in there to have your, you know, GT Legends. But yeah, it doesn't have the... You know, AI racing and a set of courses still not, still not quite what it should be. Yeah, so we, I mean, for this event, yeah, you might look at the leaderboard and um, let's let's take a quick look through things. So David is at the five liter. So for this event, the classes are combined for the five liter uh, plus and the three to five liters. So we are all, even though we're technically in the game in a different class, we are in the same class. Um, and so we're third overall, third in class, uh, second Ferrari, if you want to think of it that way. Liam, and that's Jackson's Ferrari that Liam's driving now. I guess it's both of their Ferrari, but Jackson was driving it for quite a while today. And if we look back, Darren is leading the way in the uh, in the two liters, which is the second class. So it's only two classes in this race. And Darren's leading uh, Montas back there for their race. A few laps down at this point. to lap a car here. Mm hmm. Oh. I hear something. Oh, is he saying like that he's gonna pit? Oh yeah. Oh, smart. Oh no, it wasn't. He's just on the inside now. Yeah. The sounds. I don't know, career stuff, I've never had a game that had a career mode, really, that I liked, so. Uh, I mean, I've, I played a lot of Gran Turismo back in the day, and, like, I guess you could call that a career, right? I liked, you know, Gran Turismo 3 and 4 on the PlayStation, like, that's fine. Um, I've never really played the modern, like, F1 games or anything like that. I didn't really like the career mode in WRC. I think I just come from a time where you kind of make your own fun. Like, doing a championship is the career. <laughs> so, I don't really mind. But I know I know so many of you, I just see comments all the time from folks that, like, 
want career modes in games. So I hope some game or sim can come out that has a compelling one that scratches that itch for folks. But I'm, I'm more than content making my own fun, as long as the racing is good. Yeah, I need for speed back in the day. Yeah. Yeah, Kringle, I'm with you. Championship, and then, like, if you can have a car that maybe you can upgrade a little, like, that would probably be enough for me. Ah, take it or leave it. I did, you know, I did back in the day, like, the NASCAR Thunder games, their career, but it was basically that. Like, you had... It's very minimal on the management part. You had a, a, a team and a shop, and you could, like, upgrade stuff. I, I do think, I, I guess I'll take back what I said about career modes. I did really like Dirt to Daytona back way when. Um, but that game is kind of broken. I think a lot of folks just remember the, like, rookie series and doing the dirt, dirt street stocks and getting up to, like, modifieds and maybe to trucks. Like, once you get above that, it gets really weird. <laughs> it's kind of unbalanced. And, uh... I know uh, one of my favorite YouTubers, Michael Cozy, he does a lot of the iRacing NASCAR stuff, but he has a whole series for Dirt to Daytona, which uh, which is a great watch. It's very it's very loud, so you know you got to be maybe wear headphones if you're sitting with a bunch of folks, but it's uh, it's a good watch. Shout out to Dick Piston, everybody's favorite NASCAR driver. Scary is killing it here. <laughs> Take piston for the win. I'm glad some other folks know who that is. 45 seconds off of second place. I mean, Ascari's closing him in. We're just going to run out of laps, unfortunately. And uh, uh, we could have had a second place here today, I think. Had I not. Had I not hit the wall in the Lesmos, but I'm happy it was as little damage repair as it was. Yeah, Ascari started driving lap 72. He's driving all the way to the end here, and uh, we gave him new tires, and he's been he's been on it. Uh, he's got like 45 seconds back. I'm just going to tell him that. He got about 45 seconds to Liam in front, mm. so, so keep it up. I think it's still a bit too far to be optimistic about that, but, you know, keep doing what yeah. you're doing. I don't know, if it, did any of you guys play? It has a different name in, like, every region. Back in the day, there was, uh, there was Toka Race Driver 3, I believe. I think it was just called Race Driver here. But that, that game had a... Like, it was a very dramatic story-based career mode, but it was a lot of fun. I remember having fun with it back in back in the mid-2000s. Maybe the late 2000s. That hop there. Well held. Nah. A little hot. Yeah, apparently iRacing is going to... He's gonna add a career mode. Nobody I don't really like knows. taking a tight line through Oscar. Yeah, that was a little scary. I, I winced. <laughs> Ryan McCain. Oh, he just unlocked a memory. Yeah, it was. Pro it's one of those games that, like, in my mind, I'm never gonna revisit it because, in my mind, it's a certain thing, and it was a lot of fun. And uh, it probably wouldn't be good to go play it again, you know? It was a good decision. Scary there. Ooh. Intimidation.
<laughs> I said I would play Toka too, huh? There's so many things to play. That's the great thing, there's so many games out there. Like, I could, I could just simply just play a new game every week for like two years and probably not run out of anything. R Factor 1 did have a career mode. I made a video about R Factor 1 a while back looking at the default stuff and I talked about it a little bit in that but there's like a whole unlock system and uh, I, I liked that a lot too way back when. Back in like 06, 07. Welcome to hour six of the stream. <laughs> if, you, if you haven't been here the whole time, I'm not driving because my teammate Oscar is finishing the race. I've done two stints. He's on his second stint. Uh, it's been a decent race for us. Qualified actually like seventh or eighth. Not super well, um, but got off the line clean. I think I came into the pits in like eighth place after the first stint. Handed it over to Ascari. He went out and just was madman. Actually, we ended up with through some retirements and also him just being quick. Uh, but we ended up leading through the second stint, probably on strategy and then DNFs and stuff, but um, when he came into the pits, we were leading. I came out in like third or fourth, and uh, I had an okay stint. I felt slow. I was on pretty worn tires. Pretty worn tires, and uh, I ended up making a mistake about 20 laps into my stint and hitting the wall in in uh, the Lesmos. Not the hardest hit, but not a soft hit either. We had some serious damage. I had to limp around for two or three laps, a few seconds off the pace. Get in the pits. We fixed the damage, gave the car back to Ascari, uh, and we're sitting in third right now with whoa, just 14 laps to go as he gets it woed down for the chicane. 14 laps to go. We're chasing Liam, who's on the back stretch of the oval. He's not that far, but not that far ahead, but it, it is quite a ways. Martin's behind us. He's, he's quite far behind us, so... Now, I don't want to excite you, but mm -hmm. Liam just got through the second chicane. Oh. I wonder if his tires are finished. Who's to say? Just, just do what you're doing. But we'll see. We'll see what the gap ends up being towards the end of the race here. And I appreciate everybody joining today. It's been a really nice crowd in here. <laughs> a lot of people in here today just enjoying the, uh, enjoying the 1,000 kilometer, 1,000 kilometers of Monza. I hope the broadcast has been good too. I'm looking forward to watching that at some point and see what happened to everybody. Because I really only have had my view in here. Wasn't Stunt Driver made by Jeff Crammond? I'm pretty sure it was. Or Stunts, one of them. One of the early 3D driving games was made by Jeff Crammond. I think he made it after, or right before he made Formula One Grand Prix. After he made Revs. Stunt car, yeah. All right, so we are third position. We're about a second a lap faster than Liam. But Liam's doing really well up there. I think that's him, actually. No, that's not him. He's gone through the ship game. That's not Liam in front of you, just FYI. Copy. He's a bit further up there, but... Thank you, Mixie. Or Mick... 
The kiss. The kiss 94. Oh. Careful, careful. The car spun out there in the chicane. That's not Liam, though. You know, one of my favorite stories about some of the folks taking part in this race today is, is with Liam and Jackson. I don't know if Jackson, you're still watching, but if anybody was here last fall when we did the HRRC, both of them took part in it. A lot of the drivers that are in this race today took part in that. And uh, during our round at Dundrod, Liam will hate that I'm telling this, but during our round at Dundrod, we were lap two or three and a few cars had had accidents right at the start of the race and so they had to pit and they were way far behind they're also a much slower class and so the leading pack i was in the leading pack with jackson i think he was leading um if i'm remembering correct and ascari was right behind us and we come around and liam comes out of the pits and coming into the first corner he gives the inside line but touches the grass and spins out and, and hits jackson and crashes them both out of the race um and now that they're, they're teammates, they've done multiple races together now, post that. And if that doesn't show you how nice this community of folks is, uh, that two people that took each other out of a race, or really, you know, Liam having a, an accident and taking Jackson out of the race, they're able to just move on from that and become friends and teammates and stuff in this and share a car. I, it just makes me very happy that people don't hold grudges and things like that, because we all make silly mistakes sometimes but that's just one of my favorite stories about this group of drivers that that they went from having an accident like that that is one of those very frustrating things it really kind of took jackson out of the championship hunt too for that season uh, but now they're they're pretty close friends and have done a few of these races together that it's um it's quite it's quite nice i like that a lot it up now so Liam's going into the first chicane now we're coming through the parabolica <laughs> they do how often does Jackson remind Liam they do joke about it quite a bit <laughs> it was one of those moments but like that's one of those things where I talked about this in the last race I did because I did crash into a couple folks like you never you never want that to happen so the fact, I don't know, I just think it's really nice that this group of people that we've somewhat found together. It's very nice. Any chance of getting an HRRC type league with this mod? Well, I don't know how much more of these Nikos going to do, but it is definitely turning into something like that. But I'm not, I'm not planning on hosting any leagues at the moment. Yeah, maybe he gets maybe he gets Liam to do more for him in the build up. <laughs> Out of guilt, I don't know. I just I don't think we're gonna be able to catch Liam, but we'll see. I hosted HRC through my Discord and everything, and, and if folks are interested, my Discord links in the description of this stream, so you, you can free to jump in and it's mostly just chatting about vintage racing and stuff and sims we're not doing anything too crazy in there but it's a nice group of folks and then you'll definitely find out about things that are going on being in there because like this event you know back back in whenever it was october or november when nico kind of planned this he, he posted about it in there so everybody everybody knows that it's happening I have, I have made that joke toss that uh, they can't crash into each other if they're sharing the same car. So maybe that's the maybe that's the reason. Yeah, how many laps left? So we were at eleven. I have eleven laps to go, or twelve laps to go.
check out where Liam is. I think he's quite a ways, though. He's still he's doing really well. Coming out of the Parabolica. Oh, he's going in the pits. Liam's pitting. What? I know. I don't know. I don't know. He's coming in the pits. I'm watching him. Well, then I can just switch off then. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he's... Ooh. He missed his box or something. Oh, shame. Wow. So Skyri comes, we're into second then. Martin well, is literally going to go by you right here. Sorry? Martin just went by you on the other side of the oval. Oh, yeah, so yeah, yeah. He's, he's <laughs> right I wasn't afraid. You're 117 seconds off David. He's going through a Skyri right now, so yeah. Yeah, but we're, that's the other side, about. Yeah, definitely just... Just do the laps. You're doing you're doing yeah. really well. I think eleven to go, right? Yeah. I didn't know they had to stay hit away from the walls. Yes, please. I wonder if his tires just went so bad that I can't imagine. He was doing fine lap times. Like he he had been doing pretty much the same laps the whole stint, so I think it missed some uh. fuel. Am I happy because of my opponent's miss? I mean, it wasn't really a mishap. They just pit. Of course, I'm happy to get the position. That's competition. I never want somebody to have, you know, a crash or something, but um, it'd be kind of weird if I wasn't excited that we just got second position. <laughs> but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, yeah, have they done two or full tank stints? Oh, three, I'm in. Yeah, let me look. Yeah, they must have. They must have done three full tanks. Yeah, then it's, it checks out. Yeah, because they have about ten. He just lost third as well, so Martin got by him. Uh -huh. Yeah, but just nice and smooth. You're doing, you're doing perfect. I think getting beat by the chaparral <laughs> was was almost always going to happen. The two pros. Yeah, well, it's, it's true. They're both pros. Are they actually pro? Like, we are nice at least. Yeah. Get beat by the pros. Just the guy with the not seltzer sponsorship. Does David need to pit? Maybe. <laughs> I guess we'll all find out, right? We got ten laps to go here. Yeah, very long pit stop for them. <laughs> Since we're in a Ferrari, one of my one of the people watching said a very important, C. Walsh said a very important thing. Since we're in a Ferrari, I think we could probably get the organizers to uh, make a make a change. Yeah. Wings have been illegal this whole time. <laughs> Disqualified. Tough. It's tough, huh? <laughs> I'm pretty sure wings are illegal, guys, right? checking to wishfully see if they're going to pit but even if they did pit we're so far behind that they would have to have a monster pit stop for us to catch them appreciate everybody keeping keeping me company as we round out this race. Ascari's been doing an amazing job here to, to finish things up. Got nine laps to go. Or ten laps to go. From here. Oh no, you guys had a crash, Jackson. 
Jackson's saying that they actually had a crash. Ah, uh, wow. Well. That's a bummer. Yeah, that's too bad, but... That would explain the long pit stop, too. Yeah, we lapped him. Am I pulling on Bayer? Oh yeah, he's doing 54s to 56s. Yeah, you've got no, I mean, even if he was fast, he would have to be very, very fast to catch you. Yeah. He's like half a lap behind you, so... Yeah. Yeah, Mark Jones is now up into fourth overall. Some of them get around um, Liam and Jackson's car. Yeah, David is, I mean, they've got it covered. If they need to pit, they could pit and have a decently long pit stop and still, still come out in front, so. But like Ascari said, I mean, they're, they are two actual, or at least one of them is actually a pro, pro sim racer. Uh, that's what, that's what Yerne does. So I feel pretty good about our showing here today. And uh, that, that Chaparral driven properly is very hard to beat, if, if not impossible to beat in this car. Just it is very fast. Taking it easy. Nice and easy. Just get through. Yeah, two minute gap. I mean, not that surprised. Oh, it looks like Liam falls to sixth. It's bad to hear, Jackson. I'm sorry that I don't know what happened, but it's a bummer to uh, to get this far into things. Tires are getting cold. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know. Good little, good little lunge there. I think he went straight. No, he gave it to me. Ah, okay. Yeah, it was a good showing, Jackson. You guys gave us a, a big run for our money for a while. Much quicker than me today. Had nothing for you.
temps are good too. Ah, uh, good enough. <laughs> David isn't pulling either. He switched off as well. Yeah, I'm sure. If I had a two minute lead, I would also be switched off. Yeah. Yeah, we are getting to that point in the race where you could have mechanicals, so we'll see. I think we've been pretty good to our engine. We've had a couple over revs, but nothing, nothing too extreme. Oh yeah, Deathmeister, you didn't know there were... They didn't run the chicanes for too many years. You gotta They're... keep a bit, bit of speed up, otherwise I'll spin up because the tires are too cold. I mean, I can afford to spin it uh, anyway, but I'd yeah. rather not. Let's, yeah, let's try without. Do, do it after the race. Yeah, I'll try to keep the minimum speeds up and save everyone else. They didn't I run that started going, I switched off when I had like a five minute lead. I had this like eye racing spin where I caught it just the same as before, but it didn't catch because the tires were so cold. This guy, five minute lead at the Targa Florio. Yeah, just concentrate on your breaking points and stuff. You're doing, you're doing real well. Oh, thanks. it up in real life and a Ferrari won the real yeah they did we're trying our best but I think we're just going to come up a little bit too short the uh, Chaparrales we weren't sure if they would have to take more pit stops and stuff or not or um, and, and we did beat one of the Chaparrales so far we'll try to get to the end before we fully say that we did it but the other one they're just David and, and Yerne are you know very good at this <laughs> for lack of a better word so i think we got beat fair and square today i i mean i had a wall hit too it, it would have been a lot closer had that not happened still they would have beaten us i think Gap is 137 seconds. Yeah, it's a big one. But at this rate, we're going to be the only other car on the lead lap, which is good. So we'll finish. We're set to finish all 1,000 kilometers, which is, I think, a great accomplishment. Steady does it. I kind of wish I drove the last stint. It seems nice and relaxing. <laughs> we didn't know how close it was going to be, though. And I definitely would want Ascari in the car if we have to fight, you know? <laughs> Who'd have thought a small team of two drivers and 472 crew could cruise to second place? Yeah? Who would have thought? We'd certainly have enough drivers in the back. Telling us what to do. Hey, we're gonna be the only other car to finish on the lead lap at this rate, so that's something. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> I think we can be proud of that.
I managed to build some heat back into the rear tires. Hey Casper, thanks. It's nice to see you. I was hoping I'd maybe see you in this one, but appreciate you uh, tuning in. That you're coming to six to go, I believe. Should be. Yeah. Hundred forty seconds back. Car to finish as this on the same lap as the pro driver. Ah, yeah. Oh, well, if you get back into a Casper, I'm sure there's going to be more racing. So, yeah, I'm going to leave Ascari to his to his madness. He knows what he's doing. I think he'll I think he'll be able to round us out nice and nice and steady here. Scared me a little bit, but I'm happy you saw it. Yeah, that's the reason why a slower cars should just ignore the fast cars. Then they are predictable. <laughs> uh oh, Gary! Thanks, man. Only, only GP laps can make six hours fly by so quickly. <laughs> it's like giving away to someone who's behind a stop sign and real traffic. I appreciate that, Gary. I'm happy it's been enjoyable to watch. You never know with these things. It's a long, it's a long stream. But I'm happy some of you are enjoying it, or all of you seem seem to be. Nobody said anything negative yet. Fingers crossed. But thank you for that. All in all, I think that's like the first weird traffic thing we've had, so not too bad. I think there was one with the Welsh car before Parabolica and a bit after when I thought he signaled he was going to be pitting. Ah, uh, true. Yeah, it's, a lot, it's deep into the race, everybody's getting tired, I think. Yeah. It's getting kind of late in the afternoon here, too. Yeah, beautiful. Finishing that golden hour. Glad, glad I turned the shadow off so I don't have to... I suspect it's a bit shadowy in the forest. Yeah, it's also flickering every now and then, which is fun. Yeah. So this guy turned off the shadows, maximum eSport. Fallen 146 seconds back. So if you if you're turning tuning in here right for the end, uh, we did have a little scrape with the barrier, <laughs> my my doing, 
great way. Uh, midway through my uh, my stint towards the end, or towards the end of my stint, I just had a tank slapper and decided to try to drive out of it to uh, not lose time rather than than kind of give up and lose time. So I, I hit the wall a bit. We got a little bit of damage. Uh, I was able to, to do a couple more laps and then pit to give the car back to Ascari. And uh, we were able to fix the damage as well. It was about the same length as like a full pit stop with tires and everything. And so we gave Ascari back the car with some new left side tires and a full tank of fuel. And he's done about the last 30 laps here. And he's done an amazing job. We're coming up to five, four to go at the line. And uh, yeah, we're like two minutes, a little over two minutes behind the leaders. I think we'll be able to stay on the lead lap, but second place, well ahead of third place. So it's really just about bringing it home at this point and seeing if we can, uh, seeing if we can get the second position. It's definitely way, way better than, than I was thinking we would do. I don't know. I had, I had good feelings about this, but you never know with these things. It's such a long race, so. But it's been a really fun race. I mean, if, if I haven't said it enough, I mean, massive thanks to Nico and, and team for putting it on. It's not easy. And it's been a lot of fun, and I'm, I'm excited to see, you know, if, if and what they host in the future, because I'm definitely interested in it. Four more laps to go. Seven laps of fuel. Ah, really saving then. Yeah. machine I know I feel like I've I would say I put an AI driver in but we all know they wouldn't actually do this well <laughs> Ascari better than AI confirmed Okay with the car? I know you're just taking it easy. Yeah, I'm taking it, dude. You can tell he's very he's backing off quite a lot. Just as a heads up, uh, David is is entering the parabolica right now, so. I don't think he'll uh, catch you, but... Yeah, I think I, I'm timing it so that he doesn't. Perfect. Because he only has two laps. He's got two laps to go next round. No chance of a win, I don't think, unless, you know, something bad happens to the leader. They, they beat us fair and square today. But second place is so fun. I mean, I couldn't even, couldn't have even have hoped for a podium in this, so. This, uh... This kind of reminds me a lot of that Mazda, the rotary Mazda from Le Mans in the 80s, 90s. Seven eight seven was that what it was? Three to go. Yeah. <laughs> I think he's tired now.
that. Look at that lifting. It's not even shifting more. Nursing at home, indeed. There's really you know, this is this is what you got to do at the end of one of these. Just get it safely to the finish line. It sorted itself out. We have found out who the fastest car and driver team, the most prepared, the best luck. We have found out all those things. We just need to get it to the finish line, and uh, and get the podium. Oh yeah, he's we're really good on fuel now, but he's just taking it easy because there's really I mean we're. We're never going to gain two minutes, <laughs> and so it's really just just about getting it to the finish. And watch with him like going slow; he's still going to do better lap times than I was doing. I don't think I ever got into the 151s in the race; it's all 52s and, and higher. It is very impressive. I mean, he's doing such a good job. And like, don't uh, don't discount the fact that I, I'm sure Ascari doesn't mind the stream, but he doesn't typically stream to folks. And so to have him driving and there be sometimes 500 people plus watching him is that's a lot of stress. Trust me, <laughs> sometimes. So it's uh, it's really impressive that he's able to just do it and it doesn't bother him. Like, I got the advantage to streaming to 10 people and kind of build from there so it doesn't bother me as much. But to just jump in and, and have a big audience is not easy. So he's doing really, really, really good for that, too. I'm sure it doesn't bother him, but it's definitely not something to not uh, overlook. All right, come to the line. Two to go. Two more. Oil at 103. It's almost chilly. Yeah. Yeah, for me, like, you know, I, I had the opportunity to do streams to lots of smaller audiences and I mean, it's still sometimes nerve-wracking to have 500 folks watching you, but um, to jump right in, and I don't know if Ascari streams too much or anything, but, you know, I know he has a YouTube that just has some videos and stuff on it, and it is definitely a uh, something to get used to, you know? But he's, he's taking it very, very well. I mean, he knows, to be clear, he knows we're, we're streaming. I made sure he was comfortable being on voice chat and all that. He said he was. And so, it's just a, a lot to do. Winner's going to be right behind us. They're coming out of the Parabolica. Still got quite a ways on Martin Bear. It looks like might only, we'll go through the whole results here in a second, but about 14 cars are going to finish the race. Maybe a few more out of the 30 or so that started. We'll watch Ascari come out to the uh, oval here. and early on the brakes there. He's backing off a lot. I wouldn't, I personally wouldn't back off as much because I know myself and I would end up making mistakes. But I trust he knows what he's doing. So I'm not going to, not even going to bother him. I'll just tell him when to go at the line and let him do his thing for the final lap. We'll hold our breath together. 
<laughs> Let's see if we can make sure we hold on to the second place. But if we cross the line here, I believe, unless we cannot make it back to the finish line, we will have gotten second place. Because the other driver is a lap down behind us. All right, one to go, bud. Just bring it home. Yeah. David is getting a check out this time. Yeah, and Martin's a lap down, so all we got to do is bring it around. Yeah. I think we're the very last car to finish, actually. <laughs> Fun. Last car to finish, but second overall, so, you know. Yeah. You do go one slow car a bit up the road. All right. If he wants to do donuts, he can do donuts. I don't. I don't think there's anything in them in the driver's briefing that was against that. What a cool event this was, though. I, uh, I'm so. I had a little bit of. I was anxious about it, just doing driver swaps and R Factor Two. So temperamental sometimes, but it seems like everything has worked out today. Seems like almost overall, like I haven't seen too many reports and servers issues with anybody, and I hope I hope everybody had a fair race. Our right, slow on the inside, we'll just pass him. Nicely done. Oh, Yannick, thank you. Good job, both of you. Great to watch. Hope to share. I hope you can share a grid with us soon too. Um, I think I think it would be fun to have you along for some of these. It would definitely be fun. I haven't raced you in a long time since some of the Grand Prix Legends stuff, I think, so it'd be great to, to have you along. Going through the chicane here last time through. Oh, thank you, Hayes. Repairs tip. There weren't too many repairs, but yes, I, I appreciate that. Thank you, Doc. Let's just hold our breath for Ascari to get through the final chicane here on the back stretch. To round out the race. Come on, man. I know he's got this. No issues. He's done he's done like fifty of these this race. Very early off the throttle. He's just gonna slow it down nicely, nicely, nicely. Second gear. Get it through the chicane. Final time. Yes. <laughs> you did it. Great job. You did so well on that stint. We've all been talking about how, how you're better than AI could possibly ever be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got into the crew of this stint. Yeah, it was really impressive. Well, like, amazing race. You did a, had a really, really good job. Uh, thanks so much. Oh, Bear let us pass at the end? <laughs> yeah. Interesting. Ah, oh, no, finish. great job, man. That was I did. I was ah, hopeful thanks. we would do it's well, good. but getting a podium is is great. It is, yeah. And uh, judging by who beat us, I think we did pretty much as as good as we were gonna do. Yeah. Amazing. All right. Final results. I don't know how long we'll get to look at this, but David. David, with the Chaparral wins. There's Ascari. a horn in this car. <laughs> There's a horn in them. I'm sure that's uh, historically accurate, right? They, they used to not be a horn. Oh, I guess Mount Test is just having a little fun now. Yeah, the proper physics update. <laughs> Martin Bear gets third place on the podium. Mark Jones and the other Ferrari. Three I don't laps think down. I have a horn on this. Three laps down finishes in fourth. Yeah, I don't have it mapped. Oh, shame. Mikel Ramos finishes in fifth position. Sixth is Robin DeVos. Liam and, and Jackson finish back in seventh. And then Bruno Chacon is the final, I think the final of the top class, eighth place. Darren Andrews wins the uh, the, the two-liter class ahead of Montas. Uh, two laps That's ahead, it looks like. That's such a pretty car. With uh, Martin in third. Pauls Starzyovs finishing in twelfth. Mark Johnson back 13th. Tegan Collins in 14th. It looks like Timotei had a, a DNF. First of the DNFs. 15th. 
Quentin finishes. I know they had some issues though back in 16th. And then we got a rest of the DNFs. Ricardo, Maximilian, Jonathan D, Alex Gerke, Casper Devitt, Frunick, Woods Carter, Nicholas Kirsten, and Ervan finishes in last 25th place. It was a heck of a race. Heck of a race. And uh, we'll, we'll take a look at the car here as it comes around on the front stretch. <laughs> he blew it. <laughs> Blows his engine right <laughs> at the finish. Uh, thank you so much for being my teammate for this. It was uh, definitely my pleasure. Yeah, it was an honor to be your teammate. It was your, your idea originally for the Targa. We were, we were talking a lot. Yes, and I know we were meant to do that originally. We were talking a lot about how, like, I don't. I don't think you often do a big stream to folks, so it's definitely not overlooked that you, that you were fine with that and did a great job. Yeah, I've never done it before. I was a bit nervous on the first stint, but on the second stint, it clicked. Did not show at all. You did a very, very, very good job. I did blow the chicane a couple of times. Yeah, so did I. I also hit the wall, so you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna uh, say bye to everybody, but I'll, I'll see you in a minute. Yeah. All right, folks. I think that's it. I think that's it for this one. It's a long stream today. But uh, it was so much fun. And I appreciate everybody being around for the whole time for this. So many, I've seen most of you being in here the whole time. The six, six hours, 20 minute stream. A thousand kilometers of Monza. Uh, it was super fun. Thanks again to, uh, to Nico for, for putting this on and organizing it. I know he had some help with other folks too and the broadcast and all that. But I mean, it is just really, really a big amount of work to do something like this and so i'm very um very lucky that folks do stuff like this and so that we can all watch it and and do it together but i'm gonna put a link to uh, jimmy's charity stream in here uh definitely go go take a look at that say say hi and i sent you <laughs> i sent you over there but um i think that's gonna be it for this one and uh oh man what a great result finishing second place ascari did incredible and uh, everybody really did incredible. There weren't many big accidents or anything like that. And so I hope you enjoyed it. I'm sure there'll be something again soon. Have a great rest of your weekend. And I'll see you all again next time.